write your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. As a parent, you're probably unsure what college will look like for your child in the future. Rest assured, Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. There's no way to know what type of higher education your child will pursue years from now. But whether it's a two-year state college, four-year university, trade, or technical school, in state or out, our flexible 529 prepaid plans will help you pay for it, starting at just $34 a month. So you can plan on giving your child the best future possible. Florida Prepaid Open Enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah and Hoda. Now, this week, the Today Show brings Paris to our plaza. And Wednesday, America's best athletes are here live to celebrate 100 days to go. So join us this week on Today on NBC. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Give me the VIN.com is paying top dollar for your car, truck, sports car, exotic. I told my buyers, let's get them bought. Right now is the time to go. Sell us your car. Give me the VIN.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 37 in office Orlando. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash, C-A-S-H, cash. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and C. Lane. It is Monday, April 15th. 2024. Lots to get to today. From Trump's stormy trial begins to a terrible story about a pet octopus. And it's time to file your taxes, buddy. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, Celia. What 
What's going on? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. Send us a dispatch. Go over to the newsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch today. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Monday? Yeah. <laughs> How the heck yeah. are you? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Nice little weekend, you know, enjoyable, recharged a little bit, I think. I'd say, I'd say. Ready to go and just pounce at it here on a Monday, and we'll see how things go. We, we expect the best from you today. With your dispatches, they've been around a D minus. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, so, right. yeah. Uh, you guys know They're this, too. You just off the top. You, you guys are just too you're too nice and too kind to to tell them the truth here that their dispatches have been a little bit low in quality over the past month or so and it's time to bring it up. You know, here we are on April 15th. Let's get that grade A Listen, dispatch material. Or it's not that we're mad, we're just disappointed. We are incredibly disappointed. But giving like, you the room to make up for it. Yeah, today's the day, and you can do that. And it doesn't even take a lot. Just say hello. Just come out of the woods. Just send us a dispatch. Introduce yourself. Go to thenewsjunkie.com to do that it's, right now. T- today's like, uh, what's the hotel chain that has the towel amnesty day? Uh. Where uh. If you accidentally <laughs> steal their towels, you know, they're like, we can bring them back. No questions asked. Is it Holiday Inn? I think it's something like that. But today yeah. it could be dispatch amnesty day. Yeah, bring us towels. I'll tell you this, my father, and I think I may have told this story a long, long, long time ago on the show. My father never took anything. Like, my dad, my mom, in my family, it was like, if stealing was, what are you doing? You know, it was almost like Saudi Arabia, like, they're going to whip your ass if you, get, you steal something. Okay. I did not do that for the most part. You know, I th- I've told you the stories on the show when I have. And that my lighter, father, though. <laughs> it was a big one, that big lighter I stole. Big day. But my father would, would be so against any kind of you know, breaking the law or stealing. But I remember growing up in our towel closet, we had like 10 Hojo towels and uh, like 10, you know, um, Holiday Inn towels. Wow. We had like all the towels. And my dad would go. How did you you're manage? Al- my, my dad said you were allowed to take them. And <laughs> my, my dad... Had, my dad had a different theory on hotels than I did. And you guys tell me, everybody tell me who was correct, my father or me, all right? Who had the correct hotel theory or, like, just the way he thought about things? Here's how my dad thought it went. He said, when you pay the money to get a hotel room for a night, it comes with accoutrements. And so he said, like, the soap and the shampoo... Yeah. And if there's, um, like, slippers and, like, a... Oh, I go to town on those, without a doubt. Oh, like I the, always, with, I will always leave with the tissue box. Like, I'll take the cute little case off of it and bring mm-hmm. the tissues with. Uh, the shampoo, the soap, the shower cap. I've never used the shower cap, but, boy, do I have, like, 15 of them. <laughs> you have quite the collection. In my travel box. <laughs> now, I, I think the towels, the towels is pushing it, I got to say. He said the towels are part of it and that the towels come with it. I think and your dad I said, was lying to you. <laughs> I think he might have been, but it, we, he believed it. In his heart of hearts, he believed this. Trust me. He told me all of the things that are in the hotel room come with the hotel room. And, Sean, you're a fool if you don't take what you paid for. And I said, Dad, I think it works like this. I said, I think you pay to rent the hotel room for the night, and that means you get to sleep there. And then if you use some of the stuff that's there, that's fine. But you're supposed to leave all this stuff oh, behind. That's you're not what you supposed were telling to... your father, Mr. Lighter yeah. Stealer. Yeah, I wonder if this was like, this was maybe previous to the, I'm not sure what the timeline was. This might have been after, actually. I, I may have been uh, talking out of turn. but I did, <laughs> I did have a but... friend that's like, whenever we would go in, uh, whenever he would go into a hotel, he would always, more jokingly than anything, go, anything that's not bolted to the wall is uh-huh. complimentary. That's what he said. My dad was like, it's complimentary. It's part of the stay. It's your, your accoutrements, the things that you're paying for. You're a fool if you don't take them. And I thought, well, I don't think the towels are part of this because they go around and they, like, replace the towels and they wash the towels. And there are obviously certain things you can't take from the hotel room. So we have to draw the line. Like, you can't walk out with a mattress. You have to draw the line between what you can take and what you can't take. I feel like you just sleep there. You pay for that. You utilize the AC, the soap, all those things while you're there, and then you leave the whatever's left behind. But he was like, no, 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 no. 
He, he would, uh, on the way in, by the way, on the way in, he would take all of the things in the bathroom and put them in a bag, and then he'd leave just the, the bare necessities. <laughs> he was like, the, the conditioner... Like the conditioner was going in the bag to go home. You weren't even going to open that one up. The, the shampoo would stay there and the one bar of soap. That's it, right? And you, I, I never in my life, not even as an adult because it's so ingrained into me, I've never put on a robe at a hotel. What? Because you never he would even take, put it on? No, no. He took the robes immediately. And the robes, he's <laughs> the robes, robes are dude, complimentary. And your put dad them. cleaned up at hotels. <laughs> Did you guys not find all of these bills or, like, perhaps um, stay away orders from all the hotels afterwards? He said you were allowed to get it. Nobody ever said anything about it. Is the robe supposed to come with the hotel room? No. no. You're saying if you leave with the robe, you are stealing. Yes. Nowadays, if you leave my at the road, they'll they charge, charge you. Yeah. Yeah. Will they? Oh, yes. my God. Uh, Thievery. And, and, and usually that's not like some sort of hidden rule. Usually there's like a like a little tag around yeah. the robe that's like, like our robe? Uh, you know, uh, To take it home and we'll just add it to your bill. I mean, they, they added those solely because of my father, I think. <laughs> it was the, the driving force behind that. We had an, a very extensive collection of... Uh, much like Sabrina's shower cap collection of what all, up, what up? all the different stuff from those hotels. All right, let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers to the pulse. Let's see what's happened to this great, big, wide world of ours. And we go to the world of sports, everybody. Right. Yeah. That's right, sports. It's where we thrive. It's where we live, we eat, we breathe. Dream. It's where we exist. And in the world of sports, you have a lot of NBA teams, including the Houston Rockets. And uh, hmm, uh, Boban is how I say his name. You may say his name differently. Right. I like to each their own, but uh, I say well, Boban. I mean, how does he pronounce his own name? I say Boban, and he says, and he was. Throwing a free throw, as you know, happens after somebody gets fouled in the NBA or any other basketball game. And the shooting, thing is... Shooting a, a free yeah. throw. Yeah, shooting a free throw. Do you not say throwing a free throw? It's, uh, it's shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing oh, wow. is more of a baseball or a football term, but... I mean, you're throwing the ball, right? You're throwing the basketball up. You don't throw a basketball? You, uh, all right, shooting it. All right, I'll, I'll give you that. Shooting the basketball. And his, his team, the Houston Rockets, missed out of the playoffs... But all of the fans who had gathered to watch the game, there was something big on the line. Because if he missed this one particular free throw, everybody in the arena would be gifted chicken sandwiches. Mm. All right? So all they right. say, now we're he knows, talking. And, and he knows it's on the line. As he's about to shoot this free throw, he knows as he throws, if he, as he shoots it, as he shoots it up, if he misses, okay, this the is whole the, arena gets chicken This is from Semi Pro. Is this a home arena? Like this yeah. is his home arena? No, it says he was in Los Angeles, oh. so it, it was an away game even, and and all of the LA people a would pressure, get man. a chicken sandwich if he missed it. If he made it, then nobody gets a chicken sandwich. Here we go. Oh. So getting excited here. There might potentially be some free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh, man, free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's why the fans oh, are getting chicken on the board. Love that guy's job. Free chicken on the board. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a parrot. Oh man, <laughs> he's a broadcast parrot. Oh, oh yeah, broadcast yeah, parrot. Yeah, yeah. Free, free chicken on the board. Free chicken on the board. Just, just repeat what the other person says the whole time. Be some free chicken on the board chicken. if he misses the second free, free chicken, chicken on the board. Free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's the why board. the fans are getting a little, little frothy. Oh, they're pointing to the Bobo's playing with the crowd. Say you want chicken? Here's your job. Oh, he he misses it on purpose. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> love, that was very nice of him. Uh, I love when sports things go so non-sports. Like the guy, goes, he gave them chicken. Uh, free chicken on the board. Free chicken on the board. Uh, I, I thought this was going to be he misses it so they don't get chicken. And it was going to be like a semi-pro thing where they're, like, where they're like, we don't have corn dogs for all these people. <laughs> free corn dogs for corn everyone, dogs, Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> corn dog on the board. Uh, well, the uh, battle is on in a courtroom in the United States of America, and it is President Trump and Stormy Daniels in New York City. 
This over the hush money trial. Not a lot of people know too much about this. So the basic gist of it, in case you hear headlines about this case, is that there was a, a gentleman who owned a uh, gossip rag at the time. Gossip rag? And free chicken the on go- the board, free chicken on the board. The Gaza brag guy who was uh, friends with with Trump, he was allegedly involved in some sort of payoff to dump some evidence of a story, right? And this whole story disappeared after that. Uh, hang on, I'm bringing up the entire story thing. disappeared. Free chicken the, on the board. The hush money trial is beginning today in New York City. They say, here's what to expect. Jury selection is underway. They have to whittle through hundreds of people to select 12 jurors and six alternates. There are 42 questions. It's New York, so Trump's screwed. There won't be a single Republican in the mix, I would <laughs> like. There's a, you, it's hard to find a Republican in New York City in particular. There's not a lot of them around there. So you may have a, a hard time finding anybody who supports Trump. Though there is somebody with a big truck with a big Trump flag who's just doing circles all day long around the court. They're just around and around they go. But they will not be on the jury as far as I know. The prosecution is alleging that Trump repeatedly and fraudulently falsified New York business records to conceal criminal conduct that hid damaging information from the voting public during the 2016 presidential election. At the heart of the case are allegations of various sex scandals that prosecutors say Trump tried to suppress with the help of his lawyer, Michael Cohen, and top executives in charge of the National Enquirer. There is the rag. In the final days of the election, Cohen paid $130,000 to one of the women, adult film star Stormy Daniels, to keep silent about her claim that she had a sexual encounter with Trump in 2006. Trump denies the allegation. Trump says he didn't do anything wrong. He has acknowledged reimbursing his attorney Cohen. This is from his side. His lawyers are likely to target Cohen on the witness stand by painting him as a liar who hates the former president and whose testimony should not be delivered. They're likely to be aggressive with Daniels, Stormy Daniels, the porn star, former porn star as well. They're expected to focus on comments she has made mocking Trump in an effort to portray her as biased and untrustworthy. So there you go. The case underway. Stormy Daniels v. Trump in a courtroom in New York. I can't believe it's What's- still happening. Yeah, it is. It's happening. Well, let's let's see what they said. Here's Trump, actually. Let's, let's see what he said outside of the court here. <laughs> It's a little hallway echoey, all right? There's a little bit of the echo bouncing around there, but he said, this is an assault on America. There is no case, and they've said it. People that don't necessarily follow or like Donald Trump said this is an outrage that this case was brought. This is political persecution. This is a persecution like never before. Nobody's ever seen anything never like before. it. Never before. And again, it's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America. Uh, Trump uh, before this case starts. How will this all roll out? Well, we'll see over the next handful of days here. All right, when we come back, we'll get into what happened at the box office this weekend. Some big surprises there. And what happened in a very, very different sport from basketball this weekend that has a ton of people talking. We'll get to that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. If you're going to give up your personal information to a giant, merciless corporation... Might as well listen to something good. So tell Alexa to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for on Colonial Drive. All lanes are blocked eastbound at Tampa Avenue and before Orange Blossom Trail. Authorities are working on an accident on Colonial Drive westbound at Woodbury Road. The right lane is blocked on Old Winter Garden Road eastbound at John Young Parkway. And they're clearing up an accident on State Road 429 northbound south of Florida's Turnpike. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James. Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. 
Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay. FrankGayServices.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Admin. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. What's up? (sighs) I'm tired of feeling so bloated. That used to be me. Then I got this. Aligned bloating relief plus food digestion. A probiotic, right? Yeah, it works naturally with your gut to help soothe occasional bloating and gas. Plus, it has vitamin B12 to aid digestion by helping convert food to cellular energy. Two benefits, one capsule. Aligned bloating relief plus food digestion from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Learn more at AlignedProbiotics.com. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah and Hoda. Now, this week, the Today Show brings Paris to our plaza. And Wednesday, America's best athletes are here live to celebrate 100 days to go. So join us this week on Today on NBC. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online at a branch or in our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Moments like hearing my cat purr good morning mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrand's Palbacyclib. Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand's and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. 
Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotfi from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. If you ever need our help, we're just a call away. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, cash, C-A-S-H, cash. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. They're best friends, unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's the I embarrassed the show this weekend. And uh -huh. I'll, um, I'll tell you why. I'll get into that in just a moment. But uh, I embarrassed the show uh, multiple times, actually. <laughs> was kind Wait, of, are you even thinking of the thing I'm thinking of? Um, I'm not sure. There may be more to it. I don't know. I know you embarrassed yourself. Uh, I like in this case, I embarrassed myself, but I think the show just took hits along with me. You know, it was like, I brought you guys along for the ride with my embarrassment of myself. And I, and I, for that, I apologize. You know, this, I'm sometimes bad at this stuff and I do awkward things and, uh, general interactions for me are w weirder than they should be. I think like, I'll give you an example. There, where I went to this event this weekend, and it was called Brunch at the Park. Right, mm -hmm. uh, really cool event where they had like twenty something local restaurants come out, and every restaurant makes a brunch item and a, a, a brunch Ooh, drink. I love me and some brunch. Who doesn't, right? Like, you, like a brunch food item and then a brunch drink for all these twenty two restaurants, and when you pay and go in, everything is free from there. And then you judge, you get a coin for like the best drink, you give them a coin or the best food item, you give them a coin and, and it's a battle, it's a showdown, right? And it was, there was some of them that were really bad, some of them that were really good and you go around and you get a little tipsy and you have some food and you enjoy yourself. And I'm in the line for uh, one of these places, which uh, they have a food truck um, that's related to the restaurant I'll be damned if this place is not uh, amazing, like God tier in terms of those of you who want to get a, a real experience and really enjoy yourself. Um, what's it called? Autos? Uh, high dive. High dive. High dive. Oh, yeah. Don't they have like Autos. a Cuban theme to it? Oh, God. Autos high dive. The Just Cuban climax? sandwich. I almost did while I was there. I'm going to tell you the Cuban sandwich, and it comes with these like plantain chips is one of the best things I've had in the last several years. Dang. All right. We went to the food truck at this event, and then we we were, we liked the food truck so much that we went to Otto's uh, High Dive. And really cool place. Very uh, interesting. The, the decor inside is so good. I got to say, I, I've, I've seen the menu, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've always wanted to go have brunch there. The only time I tried to go there, it was jam-packed because it had just opened. And we couldn't get a seat at the bar even. Uh -huh. And so we left. And the whole time, my friend, who was a friend of ours that I was hanging out with, was just mad that, he could, that, that, <laughs> that they couldn't, like, they, they would take reservations for bar seats. Or yeah. something, it was something like that. How dare they? That he, he just, and he 
talked about it the rest of the night. He's like, I, I can't we're... believe those assholes. I've never gotten. I was like, I, I think what you're talking about actually happened while we were there because people get mad. You can't just walk in and go sit at their bar. Yeah. You have to tell the front person that you're you're there and you want to sit at the bar, and then they'll like talk to the bartenders, prepare them for your arrival. You cool with them, bro? You're like, yeah, is this gonna work? And these, these two guys came in, these two bros, while we were there, and they were like, I want uh, the tequila on the rocks. <laughs> and they're like, what? Yeah, I'll take a vodka soda. And they both come in hot. <laughs> and, uh, and when they go to the bartender, the bartender goes, he's so calm and professional. This son of a bitch was so good. Uh, he's like, you're going to have to go check in at our front door. And what do you mean? We're going to the bar here. That's and, it. We can sit wherever we want. Jump. Yeah, they, they did not understand this. And so they, with their tail between their legs, they go back to the front door. And about 15 minutes later, they come over and they sit them at the bar. And then they go, I'll take the, the tequila drink, you know, tequila on the rocks. And within 15 minutes, they were, they were out of there. It was not a place for them. But it was a place for me. See, then if you pull up the menu of Otto's High Dive, what, it's not called a Cuban sandwich on their menu. Uh, tell me what it's called if you can, if you get a chance, just because I want to get this out there. This is on my list, friends. It is on my list, God-tier level. I'm going to give it a solid 95 out of 100. Like, really, really, really good. The Cuban sandwich at Otto's High Dive with the plantain chips. Uh, like, life-changing. You take a bite and you go, oh, God! They got this right. And I've had so many bad Cuban sandwiches. The further away from South Florida you get, it seems the worse the, the Cuban sandwiches get. They're, they're pretty bad. Some good ones in West Palm, some good ones in Fort Lauderdale, real good Cuban sandwiches in Miami, of course, for obvious I'm, reasons. Maybe I should not be on the dinner menu. That, I no, was doing no, the it, same thing. So their, their media noche has the same it. ingredients. That's no, that's it. The media noche is the, is the Cuban sandwich. Media noche. Yeah. Media, yeah. Uh, You're so, so white. <laughs> media noche is another uh, traditional Cuban sandwich. Is it? Well, it's, it's a it's, type it's, of bread. Also, that is it, involved. It, it's it's the same exact stuff that you Inside, put in. Inside, yeah, in the you, you yeah, have yeah. your 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 pork, your ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, mustard, all that. But Ooh. the type of bread is also a game changer. Okay, marinoche. All okay, right, it's uh, not Italian. Ninety-five out of a hundred. God tier, unbelievably good. Go try it, and and uh, even if it's like a little annoying to get a seat and hang out in there. Go try that. It is so good. That's on my God tier list. And they really offered down. him the 10% off, didn't yeah. they? I didn't get God. anything. <laughs> Nobody knew. Today, like yeah. the beef jerky store all over again. <laughs> Nobody knew who I was. And in fact, we got the ADA bar seats. We got like the, you know, when you um, go to a bar. And, so and once the, again, you're taking a spot that belongs to someone who. I, no, I wasn't t- trying to take it. They said, go come sit here. You know, when you go to a bar and they have the low bar seats. Because mm-hmm. they have to be ADA compliant for the wheelchair people. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I shouldn't call them wheelchair people. That seems kind of wrong. Um, whatever. For the handicapped people. And when we go in there, they sat us there. It's like we we're, were looking up like we're little kids at the little kids table looking up at the bar. So we were not given anything. But the experience was so good. Spent a lot of money in that place. And I, I'm I'm a fan now. I used to be a different man, folks. I used to be the guy that was like, Pfft. I'd go in and get some drink with like an umbrella in it and some fruity concoction that was made by some mixolic. No way, man. I'm a different human now. I went in and I said, sir, I like fruity alcoholic drinks. Hit me in the face with it. And that bartender who was doing the John Taffer, like, you know, shake, shake the drink up top with your elbow up. And, Look you know, how quickly I can masturbate. He was so good. He was so good. Is that something the, the, John Taffer says? Uh, I believe he, so. Part two. Yeah, it's in the private classes. He won't say it on the Extended show. Cut. Yeah, I'm on Bar Rescue. They won't say that. Uh, $16 I'm for that hearing sandwich. Hearing it in my head. I'm hearing him yell it. <laughs> Scream <laughs> it. Even. Zephyr's Biker says $16 for that sandwich. It better be good. It is. Just trust me on this. It's on the God tier list. It's the first one on there. 95 out of 100. So good. Uh, I've been wanting to go there uh, to check out their brunch because they actually have like a Bloody Mary that they crafted. And when so many places just like give you an ounce and a half of vodka and some zing zang and call it a day and they're just mm-hmm. Ugh. but uh, like the fact that they like put work into it. I always want to try stuff like that. Out. I love it. I love places like that. This is my like I, I used to just be like, 
a drink at a dive bar, and I go get my food at a place. That, you know, it's, I am a changed human being. Treat me like a dainty lady, if you will, and wine me and dine me and uh, and give me all of the the excess. That's what I want in my golden years here. Is that what years I'm in? I don't know what these years are. Yeah, for but sure. We'll call that's, that. That's what I want. So go, go try that. Anyhow, so they had a food truck at this brunch at the park event that I went to. That's not how I embarrass the show. I embarrass the show on multiple fronts. I tend to. Sometimes I don't tell you guys about it because I don't want to. I don't want to make you sad. I don't want to bring you down. I mean, I, I feel like we have prepared for it. There's many, many a times in which you say something on the air, and then uh, we have to be like, that is Sean Wasson's take. I'm fine with that. of the aftermath. So, you know, But I, here's what's happening. You, this no, is the aftermath. If I, say it on, if I say it on the air, I'm generally fine with it. You're talking about the public repercussions for the things said on the air? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that that does it, it come to the play. Uh, the first awkward thing that happened was this woman comes up to me. I'm waiting in the line for the uh, auto side dive um, food truck, and she goes, "Are you the news junkie?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. And she goes, uh, "Can I get a photo with you?" And I'm like, in the middle of a long line, and she and I'm like, "Of course, yeah." So we take a picture. She's uh, saying nice things about the show. She, she's like, "Oh my god, you must be Courtney." And very sweet. A bunch of people came up to me at the event. Everybody who came up to me, thank you. You were all very nice people. Love you, okay? That's fine. Um, then the next person who came up while I was in line, they said something to me, and I thought they said, love the show. And I'm like, well, you know. Another you. fan. <laughs> Here we go. Where do I sign? <laughs> uh, thank you. you know, we, we do the best we can, you know. And she said, love your shirt. And wow. <laughs> what, 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 what was it about the show? I told you about it. It happened to me at 7-Eleven <laughs> where uh, I thought that they said she's on the radio. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, my God. I didn't know you listened to the show. And he goes, no, you're, I said you're a regular. <laughs> You're I just go. like, I'm too deep in it now. But what radio no, show I- you on? I go, don't even worry about it. It's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. So recently on the show... Sabrina tried to stop me mid rant when I was coming down on a particular venue. A venue you have not really been to in a long, long time. Very long time. I've we been have. to this venue. Dylan and I have. When? Still I- enjoy going. I mean, I have. How about that? I've recently gone in the last couple of years a handful of times. I have been to the venue on two occasions. All right. And. Has the venue changed since I've been there, as far as you know? Or is the layout of the venue for concerts as it was when I went? Do you think anything has changed there? Is it still the this same? This a good like, little dance well, I know, to make I'm, up for what you did. What I'm saying is the truth. I'm saying, is the concert venue any different? Because that's what I take issue with. House of Blues, you got poles in the way. You got to look around a corner. You can't see anything. There's a bunch of things about that. And Fritz was on board with this. And so I said... <laughs> You're incredible. What? Well, was he not? He's Fritz down with you. Fritz was the one who started it. Fritz, he said it in that uh, piggyback. Fritz did start this. Fritz started it, and I said, Fritz time. is right. Because Fritz was right. He was right. And I said, you know, the venue is not the greatest. There's like uh, obscured views and this and that. And uh, other issues that you have. Obstructed views? What did I say? Obscured Obscured and obstructed. Yeah, both of them. And so I look over, and I'm not putting any of these pieces together. I'm just, like, enjoying brunch at the park, getting a couple mimosas in or whatever. And I go, oh, there's a House of Blues tent over there. Let's let's go over there. And we go over to the House of Blues tent. And this one guy goes, you want some jambalaya? And I'm like, "Uh, sure. Sure, buddy. I'll take some jambalaya. He goes, we know this guy loves the House of Blues. <laughs> and I go, huh? Yeah, I said the uh, Jumbo Island was so good. Embarrassing, Sean. And then and he goes, he goes, heard him talking about it on the radio. Really loves the House of Blues. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And then it hits me. As I'm sitting there with two plates of food from House of Blues. And I go, oh, yeah, that's right. I said the thing. I said the thing about House of Blues. Now, let me say this, all right? Whilst the venue at the House of Blues sucks balls, no good, 
bad views, obscured, and obstructed. The food that they had at their brunch tent was magnifique. They had bread pudding balls, little bread pudding. Oh, knock me out with it, man. New Sean loves bread pudding balls. I'm a bread pudding ball man. I love it. The jambalaya was okay. You know, it was decent. It was good. But uh, they were nice, and the guy was nice. And I had forgot that uh, forgotten that I ranted against your location, sir. I almost gave you, you my coin. Did you forget anything else? No. No, what else? What else? I mean, I probably did. Did the guy look familiar at all to you? No. <laughs> Why? Am I supposed to know? I mean, he used to work with us. Jesus Christ. Who was it? It was Mike. It was Mike, wasn't it? Yeah, it's our one of our old promo directors. Exactly. Great guy. Wonderful man. Loves the show. Who's Mike, the promo director? Okay. It's one of our our previous promos. do know that guy oh man oh well mike mike the pro director if you're out there thank you friend appreciate you <laughs> hooking me up with a jambalaya <laughs> hopefully you didn't taint it in any way and i almost gave you my coin for like the best dish at at the bridge almost of the oh at least but you I got couldn't. to sleep on you know, you know i said I, I said i can't be a absolute buffoon and give my coin for the best dish to a chain at brunch at the park. I said, I can't do that. Do we consider them a chain? um, Yeah, definitely. House of Blues is a chain. It's a a smaller chain, chain, but it's a chain nonetheless. And so I go over to my favorite dish of the event, and I proudly (laughs) proudly gave them my coin for the best dish, and I plopped it in there like, thank you, we love you. And I was like, what is this place? I never heard of them before. Metro Diner? And uh, Metro Diner is totally a chain. <laughs> Just <laughs> a giant <laughs> chain of places. And I, and I could have given it to Otto's High Dive, who I really had the best stuff out there. Unbelievable. I'm surprised you didn't, seeing as you uh, uh, are waxing poetic about them and made posts mm-hmm. on your social over the weekend. Yeah. I what, Did I post about that online? Courtney did. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's we had so much good stuff in that place. It's it is top notch, very very good. Go try it out. Uh, we got to get into what happened at the box office this weekend and what happened in a sport that we don't usually cover around these parts, but we will do just that and nail it. I promise. That's coming up next on the news junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good afternoon. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and I've got your forecast update here for the Orlando region today. We're topping out at 86. That's about three degrees warmer than normal. Beautiful day, bright sunshine, just some high clouds. But this week will be known for its heat. Yeah, in fact, we warm things up into the mid 90s by this weekend. Now, one good thing is that being springtime, there's no real humidity to worry about, so at least it won't be that really muggy July style brand of mid 90s. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Nasal Guard. People who suffer from allergies use Nasal Guard to prevent them. Nasal Guard's innovative gel and spray products protect you from all airborne allergens, no matter what the forecast holds. Visit Amazon, Walmart, or NasalGuard.com today. Breathe better this spring. NasalGuard.com. Folks, you want to trust somebody who's been doing it for a while, and that is a company that you can lean on. And when you have problems with your AC, that company is Mills Air. You see, they're not brand new. They're not fly-by-night. They're not some company that's going to take advantage of you. They've been in business since 1992, in fact. That is over 30 years of helping people just like you when something does go wrong with your AC. Look, most days are good days where you walk in the house and you feel the AC and things are nice and comfortable and everything around your house as a homeowner is working as it should. Sometimes you run into trouble. You get the bad days where the AC seems to not be working right. And that's scary. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how big the bill's going to be. Mills Air is there to guide you through it. And if there's a major issue that can't be avoided, they have uh, have financing for basically everybody out there to help you out in this trying time. 
They also are a carrier factory authorized dealer. They can get you big rebates up to $1,275 for a brand new carrier unit. And get this. If you think, well, I'm going to be paying this much money. They can also show you how much you'll be saving on your, uh, your electric bill because the air conditioner will be much more efficient if you get an upgrade. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to Mills Air. Find them online, millsair.com. Nowadays, it seems like wherever I go, there's a vacuum emptying out my purse. I go to get gas. I go to buy groceries. I go to the coffee shop. But then the strangest thing happened. I went to McDonald's for breakfast, and all I heard was... You see, McDonald's has a deal where I can choose any two for just two seventy nine. I can choose from a sausage McMuffin, a sausage biscuit, a sausage burrito, hash browns, or a small hot coffee. I chose a sausage burrito with fluffy scrambled egg, pork sausage, melty cheese, green chilies, and onion. And I paired it with crispy hash browns, all for just two seventy nine. It's such a good deal. I'm using the money I saved to get my car clean. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpal Cyclip. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of repair. From simple repairs to upgrades, it's A1 from day one. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Our springs, rollers, and openers are tested by running them up and down, open and closed, all day, 24-7, so you can build confidence with every A1 garage door repair. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. As the weather starts to warm up, keep those creepy crawlers outside by calling A1 Garage Door Service today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1 Garage.com, A1 from day one. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. True Green is the easiest and most affordable way to get a beautiful lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, you get one application free. Call or visit truegreen.com today. Restrictions apply. Hi, guys. Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak. 
to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. This is. We're back at it. We got a big week ahead on the news junkie. You can follow along with everything that's happening over on the website. That is thenewsjunkie.com. Uh almost went this weekend to see that movie Civil War, which I don't know if it's number one bow is a result of the country thinking that we're actually headed to a civil war. So why not get ready for it? Or if people just like movies and they're ready for something new and different. Not sure. A24 is on a roll, so yeah. maybe it's that. You know? I, I think that that's uh, on the pro list for whether or not I see the movie because traditionally settings like that, I mean, the Civil War is not the oldest th- war there is, but like old war set movies yeah. do not interest me. No, it doesn't do it for you? Yeah, like uh, I, I know this is probably, probably some dudes that will hear this that are like, oh, but... That's not a man thing to say. I don't have any interest to watch Braveheart. What'd you just say? I, exactly. Give me your man card back. How right many times now. have you seen it, Sean? <laughs> I don't know, like once or something. <laughs> I, I don't like movies where people paint their faces. That's where I draw the line <laughs> in the sand. I, I, did, I can't do it. I did, though, speaking of Mel Gibson, we did watch that movie where he's a radio host. Mm-hmm. And um, it was terrible. <laughs> Now, and, and like and like you and Sabrina hated it. I was like, I, I, I knew it wasn't a good movie, but I was in, entertained enough to at least continue yeah, to the I, end. I mean, the ending was the worst part, like the just mm-hmm. the, the conclusion, you know, the, of everything. But like radio wise, there I didn't have a whole lot. Like I didn't annoy the hell out of Ashley, like I thought I was going to, by just pointing out every wrong thing they were doing because mm-hmm. there wasn't a lot of it except for the one that I think anybody who's not in broadcasting would even uh would even kind of scratch their head at they were cursing up a storm <laughs> right yeah yeah like was... before before any of the actual action started even like they were dropping bombs and I was like that is the that is the thing that you could make the most realistic wait hold on wasn't he technically a late night radio host. <laughs> I uh, guess, yeah. Uh, technically guess. safe harbor, you know, is that you could could have got away with a little bit more. I don't think they considered that though. Uh, if you don't know this, it's a movie that Sabrina watched in her. Was it Sab- called uh, On the Line? On the Line, I think. Yeah, with uh, Mel Gibson. And Sabrina's review was, oof, not very good. You know, just simply put, uh, don't don't watch. Was her review, and I was like, yeah, I didn't think it was very good either. But I thought, like, I got through it. And uh, I was the same as Celine. Like I thought I was just going to go RCA cables on a broadcast. Like I thought I was just going to yeah. complain about dumb stuff, you know, or like, uh, the, the, <clears throat> like the time that uh, Ashley and I watched the, a brand new show. It did, did not last long. We liked the show, but the pilot episode, it, it was, a, it, it, it was a show that is this new thing where like uh, one of the plot lines is driven by the fact that um, the, the lead character has a podcast mm-hmm. and, uh, She's recording this podcast, and in front of her is a piece of equipment that not only is old, outdated, nobody uses, but it has nothing to do with podcasts. It's a video editing tool. Yeah, and, they, right. and they just, like, somebody at the studio decided that <laughs> that hosting a podcast should look more technically involved than it really is. And so they uh-huh. just, like, found this old thing, slapped a sticker on it, and put it in front of her. And I was like, that does not belong there at all. I find myself doing that too much. I got to I got to get away from that. New Sean doesn't complain about that anymore. I can't be like four people on a radio show and they have a two channel crap Behringer mixer. This <laughs> and it's like no no one cares. Just get away from it 
And I, I want to see Civil War. I want to check it out. It is interesting that A24 has enough cachet that that, I'm with you, it kind of adds to it. I'm like, maybe this is going to make it good. But it was $25.7 million at the box office in the number one spot. The dystopian action movie about the United States heading into a civil war. Uh, they paid $50 million bucks in total for the movie, which is way more than A24 generally does. If you haven't caught on, if you've been living under a rock, the, the model is this. For Blumhouse and A24, they make movies between $6 million, $8 million, maybe $10 million. They put the movie out in theaters. They don't even want to. They, they, I mean, of course, they want to. They don't even need to hit the top spot at the box office because six, eight, ten million dollars is easy to recoup. People go see the movie. It makes thirty million dollars, and they're happy, and they move on and make another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Volume rules the day. But this uh, has a bunch of stars in it, so it costs more. You got Nick Offerman. You got Kirsten Dunst. You got famous people, and that's a little bit pricier sometimes. Um, it's all about a, uh, a falling apart of the United States of America where we head into a civil war. Is and it like it a was, dark comedy? Like, is there funny parts to it, or it's I going to be like... Where the South think they can win. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I'm like, looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are, are you thinking because Nick Offerman's in it? Because, like, I mean, obviously. I, I, some of the people in there have done comedic roles. This could very well be a, a dark comedy where uh -huh. it still makes you think and has some jump scares or stuff that you think about late at night in silence. But it, there are some parts in which leads me to believe that it could have some funny moments. I don't know. Or just an I'm interesting take on all of it. I'm not sure if it, it has any humor in it, but they sometimes do that. Like the thriller comedy or um, horror comedy even is a genre that's been growing quite a bit. Uh, this brought in the audience and I saw the breakdown, which was kind of interesting. I think they said it was like 40% people who identified as Democrats or liberals and like 20 something percent people who identified as Republicans or conservatives, even though those titles mean basically nothing anymore. Like the conservatives versus liberals is gone. It's, it's the, there's no conservatives and no liberals anymore. You have basically progressives and Trump fans. That's what everything is distillated into from where it started. And uh, I, it looks like there's a little bit of both sides coming out to see this movie, but more so people from the left. I, maybe... And I don't know why that is. Maybe it just happens to be that way. Maybe it's a general movie audience and they diced it out and, and found out that general movie audiences lean in that direction. Uh, you just you try to look at things like that since it's a movie about a civil war. I want to see it. I want to check it out. Did not get a chance to this weekend. We, we had a whole bunch of stuff going on, so we didn't end up getting to it. That might be a, like, streaming, nothing else is on kind of night. You're not going to illegally download it, right? You're not gonna... uh, uh, no. No, no way. So illegal. I, mean, I don't even know that I want to watch it. Why would I go through the motions of doing something illegal well, that hard. to I view it? Actually hoping that you would so that I can watch it also. <laughs> Why? Is it hard to pirate stuff now? No. <laughs> ah, damn it, Elaine. We were giving you an out. Why did you say it like that? Free chicken on the board. <laughs> All right. Quick break. When we come back, our friend I Andy pirate Kaufman. only fans, man. I've got to, <laughs> it is not hard to pirate things. Celia okay. uh, was over pirate here. Pirate only fans? Okay. Here's, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story when we come back. We'll get into no, <laughs> no, no. no you can't tell thing. the story right before Amy Caulfield gets on, bud. Yeah, please oh, don't. Right. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, I'll put it on the list. Leave the woman uh, be. We'll do it at a, at a respectful time after Amy Caulfield has left. <laughs> right before the next episode. <laughs> Somewhere where it makes a lot of sense on the show. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. 
Construction continues, causing heavy delays on Florida's Turnpike. Southbound at County Road 470, the right lane is blocked there. Traffic is backed up to Lake County Line. There's stop-and-go traffic on I-4 eastbound before U.S. 27 and after State Road 429. And the left lane is blocked on Old Winter Garden Road due to an accident eastbound at John Young Parkway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Berman. Him. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. For more information about contests on this station, go to RealRadio.fm slash rules. In this week's Marketer's Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. Moments like hearing my cat purr good morning mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrand's Pelbocyclib. Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand's and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand's, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take z Zequil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non-habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with Zequil Nights. Explore our products at Zequil.com. 
uses directed keep out of reach of children. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. By the time it's tax day on Monday, April 15th, you've either filed or filed for an extension. And regardless of that fact, McDonald's is giving you a tasty reason to celebrate. Only on tax day, go ahead and order your favorite McCrispy sandwich for just $3 in the McD app. It's a delicious way to say, hey, I deserve it. Any tender and juicy McCrispy sandwich. So file that McDonald's order only on tax day and only in the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Offer valid only on 4 15 24 Participating McDonald's valid once a day must opt in to rewards. I love playing pranks on my sister, and this deal going on at McDonald's is my chance to take the lead. Enjoy any two items for $3.79 from the iconic McDouble, the McChicken, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, small fries to even a small soft drink. I'm going to pair my McDouble with her small fries, but secretly pull her fries out of the bag. She won't even notice. Uh, hey, where'd the fries go? Ah, sounds like my prank just got fried. ba 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 Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio. Radio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Now is your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Check. C-H-E-C-K. Check. That's check. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm. Good luck. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. This Friend, all these years we've been hanging out with her, and here she is, as lovely and talented as ever. Amy Caulfield yeah. from Fox 35. Hey, you guys. Look at okay. that fancy Look new cool studio. Is. Yeah. Is this not the fanciest? Okay, for anybody, I know that your your listeners can't see this, but they need to go check out the streaming because I think that they just made these cool graphics like with Fox Orlando Live Ooh. and the News Junkie together and Real Radio, and it looks really cool. Very nice. Look at you over there. The newest streamer on the block. <laughs> they got you doing stuff. You have to push buttons and stuff now? Yeah, yeah. You want to see? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you what I can do. Like, okay, so I can click on this button, oh. and then it gives you the oh. Why don't we have that button? That is Sean. awesome. Sean, is that need, moving? We need a, oh, Sean, we we need a moving. It's called a stream deck. Yeah, yeah, I have a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, no. Amy, <laughs> this is awesome. It's panning, it cool? Sean. It's panning. Well, they gave they gave Amy Caulfield access to the buttons that Sea Lane has. <laughs> All hell is about to break loose. Oh, my God. It looks awesome. Now. Everybody's going to have to stream, though, so they can see it because it is it is cool to see. Yeah. You look great. Dang. Everything looks fantastic in your studio. Remember when Forrest tried to talk you into one of those moving cameras? That's what we're missing. Come on, Sea Lane. I'm trying to finish around here. I look I'm like something, too. I look like a damn ghost every single day. I have wires uh, sticking not. out. I can't Thank fix you, over there. I've tried to fix over there. They they haven't done anything about it back at HQ just yet, but that, it looks it's a, really it's a process. cool. We need Casey over here ASAP. Yeah. Yeah. Can we uh, <laughs> steal him? That would be nice. Uh, well, how was your weekend, Amy? How is everything going oh in your world? Oh, my gosh. The weekend was crazy. So we started Friday night. The, um, the, our Seminole High School boys and girls water polo teams uh, both uh, became regional champs or both are going to go to states in Miami later hey, this week. So that was huge. 
Yeah, so excited for them. The girls are uh, 29 wins, no losses. That's Whoa. never been done before in the history of Seminole High School. So they're super stoked. So that was fun. And then we had prom this weekend. And then we had our, our big fundraiser for Southeastern Guide Dogs. Maisie got to go hang out with all her friends oh, at um, like Lily Park and Maitland. So that was fun. We had a lot of fun stuff. So Very cool. For prom, uh, are your kids doing the promposal thing? Is that uh, like a still a big important thing, or did they kind of? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So Caroline doesn't have a boyfriend right now, so she just went with some friends. But like last year when Kate went, yeah, her boyfriend came over with a promposal, and it was like he made like a poster board and a silly, you know, like it had like a silly saying on it, and yeah, all it was right, cute. I have a question for you because you have kids right around this age, Amy. Uh, we watched a movie last night. Uh, we haven't seen it in a while. Um, it it uh, is a moment in cinematic history, I guess, because when you watch it, it's one of those movies that now some of the jokes you're like, ugh, that, that doesn't hold up quite as much. But we watched a movie called Project X, and it's like the, <laughs> the the biggest party movie of all time. It was like 10 years ago, the newfangled version of... Um, What's the Jonah Hill party movie where they're uh, uh, the super, bad. Oh. Uh, super bad, super bad, super it's, bad. It was yeah, like a okay. version of the super bad movie X. and project X. The, the parents go out of town at this kid's house and they decide okay. that they're going to throw a big rager of a party and like a thousand plus people show up and all that. And Courtney said, do kids even throw parties like that anymore? Is, is like the house party still a thing? And I said, I don't know. I don't talk to any kids right now. But with with like 18, you know, with teenagers up into the 20, is that still a thing? Like, do you ever have, have you had a moment where you left town and your kids were, were home alone like that and they could have thrown a party? Yeah. No, I mean, like, no, we usually take them with us, you know, when we go places. So, no, we've never, like, just left them home alone without any kind of supervision. But I got to tell you, when I was in high school, my parents used to go out of town a lot. Oh, and party girl? We took advantage of that situation. Oh, oh. Amy comes up party time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, like, growing up, so I've not seen Project X, but, like, growing up for me, like, 16 Candles, one of my all-time favorite movies. Mm -hmm. like, and I think about... Like, my parents let me watch that movie, and now when I watch it, I'm like, oh, my gosh, there was, like, a lot of risque stuff. Or, like, Risky Business. Yeah. Or, right? Yeah. Like, those are, yeah, those but, are, like, all those movies are, like, the ones that, like, those were, like, the big party movies growing up. we were the last of the free-range parenting. Like, <laughs> I, I even think so. now, like, as a yeah. free-range kid, like, that was yeah. what my parents were considered. Even if I were to have children, I'm like, I, I know I grew up that way and I turned out just fine, but there's no way in hell. No, yeah, I, do that. I think these Did days you have parties when you were a kid, Sabrina, like when your mom and dad left town. Um, so I, I didn't as much. Yes, because she of, had she had Sabrina Palooza. I did, but that was elsewhere. We had to find a field somewhere because uh, where I like where I grew up, it was just it didn't work out as far mm -hmm. as like the neighborhood and the parking yeah. situation, but Sabrina Palooza, 1,000%. That was like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it was a good time. I get invited to that. Uh, uh, I might, you James know what? My birth, have a great time. It's birthday in 10 days. Might have to bring that sucker back. But it's not Courtney, as fun when it's not illegal, you know? Uh, Courtney That's says as we're watching point. this movie Project X, she goes, I've never been to a party like this. And I said... Neither have I because they don't exist. It's not like there, there the, wasn't the movie party. version of the the party that you throw when your parents are out of town is very very fancified. Yeah, and it's definitely yeah. not happening. Uh, like if, uh, when I when my mom went out of town, she knew I was having people. She knew I was throwing parties, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if if I was trying to hide it these days, everybody's got ring cameras. What am I going to do? Turn it off and go? Oh, the Wi Fi is down on a Friday <laughs> oh, night. I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. That All reminds right. me. We need to get a ring camera. All right. Before before we get into what's <laughs> happening in the news, I have I have a question that I want to ask Amy. <laughs> that I don't think Sabrina or Celine are going to approve of, but okay. I want. So I, then why do it, man? <laughs> I'm right. sorry, Amy. Sabrina and Celine, do you have you both have a piece of paper in front of you somewhere? Yeah. You have like a piece of paper and a pen? Uh, sure. Okay. okay. Grab a piece of paper and a pen and write either yes or no on it if you think Amy is going to say yes or no to this question. Okay? Okay. All right. We're right talking now? about parties here. We're talking about parties. Amy, okay. have you ever in your entire life done a keg stand? You right, don't answer. Don't, don't answer. Don't. No, and there's no way I've asked before. Yes, you have. Uh, she, oh! oh! 
I with was my news director when oh. I was working in East Tennessee. What? It was really fun. I was yeah. writing the we Y. We were at a party together. I was Both writing the Y. Said yes. And yes. <laughs> Both of them said yes. She's got it in her. She you got party in seconds? Successfully. I mean, no, it was probably like five seconds or something. I'm sure I probably started choking. It was like, put me yeah. down. <laughs> it really yeah. is a whole I task. I don't understand the concept of it. Like, that, what's the concept? Like, you're like. I think just like a, t- a team activity where everyone just. Yeah. I mean, after, after 30 <laughs> seconds, you're like, okay, we got it. Like, yeah, now yeah. How long do we have to hold up this person? You, uh, the, one, the, the one true thing about parties like that is everything does become animalistic after a time. And then all of a yeah. sudden you're like, why are we doing, why is any of this stuff happening right now? This seems like a <laughs> terrible a beer person though. I gotta be honest. Like I, I will drink, like if I am at a good German restaurant, like Hollerback, mm-hmm. like I, I like a good, like Hefeweizen, like put like a orange or, a, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, but I'm not like I wouldn't. It's not like my first choice. What What is the first choice? Uh, usually like a glass of red wine. There we yeah. go. Yeah, classy. Yeah. Talk That's about classy. a keg stand of red wine. <laughs> now we're That's talking. A game changer. Uh, all right. There's a lot going on. Now, in if the you had news. asked her if she'd ever played slap the bag, I would have said no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Too now. Oh, it's too new for even me. Um, so let's let's get down to what's happening in the news. One story in particular. C yeah. Lane hit me in the talk back right before the show started, Amy. And C Lane said, Do you see what's going on with this carjacking story? Insane. Oh, it's awful. And yeah. I said, I said, I've only seen, you know, on Fox 35 Orlando, I saw the, the headline and I saw like just a little blurb yeah. about this. But w- what's going on with this? Explain what happened with this story to me, because I know it's still developing now, I guess. It's yeah, it, it's a horrific story, Sean. So this happened last Thursday. Um, this uh, woman was driving uh, her SUV in Winter Springs. Uh, there is a video uh, on the road. I'm not sure where the video comes from. It almost looks like a, either a dash cam or maybe like some type of like um, like a road cam that is showing what's happening. So a green, I believe it's an Acura sedan, pulls up behind her. She's stopped at the stoplight. Um, these two guys get out. They, You can see with guns mm-hmm. drawn, they get into the SUV. And not um, small guns, right? This looked like a, no. this is a large, yes. large yeah. rifle. Let me, let me see if I can Middle pull this story up too, for you. Right? It's not on our front page anymore. Let me see if I can find it for you. Hold on one second. Josh, yeah, you look at Oh, you look. got Josh's got it. So jo- our our uh, our guy from digital, our digital director oh. is in here in the studio with me. So he's going to pull it up so you guys Amy, can you're it. a streamer now. You you're imagine? supposed to do this without Josh. No. <laughs> This is how you're supposed okay, to do it, it. No, and you have someone no. like Josh, but instead, Sean just screams, C-Line, Google that the now! Sad, <laughs> sad part is she's been a streamer for, for 30 minutes now, and she's already got a staff. <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a better and today. a better so production than we do. Here. They're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're looking at the story here. Okay, so here we go. So here's the video. So we're pulling it up for you right now, so you can see exactly what happens. Oh, sorry, you got to watch a little. Right. Uh, oh, gotta Kevin watch an Hart. Ad first, but as soon as the ad, yeah, there you go. As soon as the ad goes away from Mass Singer, then you'll be able to see it. But You're there's right. a green car pulls up right behind this poor gal. She is sitting in traffic. These guys get out. They take her within an hour and forty five minutes. She that vehicle is in Osceola County. There's uh, somebody got video of what. See, there you go. They get them what kind of getting car into the was car that? with her. It, the car, by the way, I think it was a Dodge Durango. The car was for sale. The SUV was for sale. It actually had a for sale sign and a mm-hmm. phone number on the back of it. Now, this gal, she's from Homestead, which is in South Florida. Her husband um, said that she had called him saying that someone was ramming the back of her car. I don't know if he called the police or not. Um, but so he, he said, yeah, she said somebody was ramming the back of her car. I assume it was the screen accurate here. And then they said that, um, about an hour and 45 minutes later, that vehicle, the SUV was found in Osceola County on fire with a body inside. And wow. They, that is her. So, and they uh, are so still considering a carjacking. This seems like yeah. something beyond yeah, just stealing okay. the car. Yeah, and, and to that point, Sabrina, look at the car. Why would they target this car of all the other cars that you see out well, there? And if you want to steal the car, the why are you day, ramming Sean, it from behind? Yeah. Before six o'clock in the evening. I mean, this is broad daylight. I mean, look how many people, look how many cars are around. Look how many people saw this. So Sheriff Lima with Seminole County said that um, the husband told them that she was up here visiting family. It looks like a temporary tag, too. Can you see the, how the tag on yeah. the car is like? kind of flipping in the wind. Hmm. Um, So he told uh, the sheriff that she was here visiting family. uh, As of this point, the sheriff said they have not been able to corroborate that. So we're still trying to confirm what family she was here seeing. But again, this happened in Winter Springs an hour and 45 minutes later. That white SUV is on fire and in Osceola County and 
and she is no longer Wait, hold, alive. Can you clarify that for me real quick? So so she was supposedly in town for for what? Visiting family, Visiting family but her husband said. But that, that's what she told her husband, but they're not sure if that's actually true. Right. The sheriff is trying to corroborate what the husband told them, that she was here to visit family. Interesting. Mm-hmm. There's something going yeah. on here. This is Most a fishy. weird one. It's very strange. And then at one point. Yeah, I, she's only 31 years old. I mean, God bless her. She's, you know, let me see. I, I'm, her name was. Hold on one second. I'm going to pull up her name. For Aguas you guys, Vivas. I don't remember her name off the top of my head. Aguas but. Vivas, you said? Catherine yes, Altagracia you, Sean, Guerrero yeah. de Aguas Vivas. Yeah, Catherine Altagracia Guerrero de Agua, Aguas Vivas. She has, oh, she has three last names, so mm. um, it's a lot. But Man. anyway, yeah, that's Dodge Durango, oh, um, that's white sad, vehicle. Dude. And uh, I don't know, they, nothing about that. The guys were wearing ski masks when they got out of the car. I mean, it's like, a, that's like scary. So this is like the kind of stuff that you think happens in third world countries. Yes, right? absolutely. And, and to think this, like, okay, so in, in this case, you have somebody who's driving in a Durango that says it's for sale. So my brain goes, did they go to a place where there was a Durango for sale and then test drive the Durango to use it on purpose for this reason? That would be an interesting thing if they did that or stole it. Who knows? And then, because obviously they're not going to do this in a car with the phone number on the back that's their car. They set the vehicle on fire. So if the goal was to steal the car... None of that makes sense. No, yeah. right. So then it makes you think: was this this was some type of planned attack? Because if the goal was just to steal the vehicle, right? I mean, one, you could steal a vehicle in a lot in a lot better inconspicuous places than in the middle of traffic at a busy intersection. Yeah, so that does doesn't make sense. And then, and then, like if you're stealing jacket. the vehicle, if that's your goal, right? Then, then. You don't set the vehicle on fire. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, none of it, none of it adds up. Very strange. Interesting story. We'll have to definitely keep an eye on that one to see what the, yeah. what comes of this. We're, what else is for me. Well, There's another crazy story that we have up on the website today. Sorry, this is a guy who's walking uh, from South Daytona um, to Port Orange and he's looking for his dog. He can't find his dog. It's a, a black pit bull. So he loses the dog, right? So mm-hmm. he is walking. That's a long distance, by the way, South Daytona to Port Orange. We're not talking about like a mile or two. So he is walking along trying to find his dog and he hears a dog barking inside of a house in Port Orange. Mm-hmm. This is in Volusia County. So what does he do? He breaks into the house in the middle of the night. Well, this couple was like, what is going on? Their yellow lab is in the house barking because this guy is prowling around outside their house. And he uh, apparently um, took their yellow lab out of the house. They called the police. He was arrested. There's his mugshot. His name is Janung Marina. That's a uh, weird mugshot. Facing multiple charges this morning. Yeah, just yeah, a little like bit. Yeah, he looks like he's like <laughs> sleeping. He was supposed to have been tired because it was all that walking and in the middle of the night. So he's been charged with burglary of an occupied a dwelling, providing a false name. Uh, he also had an open warrant for reckless driving. So maybe that's why he was walking instead of driving. I don't know. But just a really strange story. Very bizarre. Yeah. I mean, uh, the idea that you just hear a dog barking in a random house and you go, I am going to uh, proceed to break in to this place. <laughs> always a bad yeah. idea, folks. Just for the record, always a bad idea. You don't want to do that. That's a real good way to, to get shot. Um, Celine, I'm sorry. What were you going to say earlier about the uh, bizarre carjacking story? Oh, and the, and the, the, there was a blurb that said that they weren't sure if the woman or her husband had called 911, which almost makes it sound like they didn't. Mm-hmm. Like on purpose. Yes. And you're like, well. Yeah, I don't, we're, we're digging on that today, C. Lane, because uh, what I, the initial story that I had heard is that the woman called her husband to say that someone was ramming into the back of her vehicle. And I don't know if the husband called 911 at that point or not. Josh, our, our digital director, is saying no. Yeah. He I, did not. Which would make call me think that we So, would... again, suspicious. Wouldn't that be the first thing that you would do? My wife just called. She says someone's ramming into the vehicle. I'm very nervous. I, I mean, I don't. Again, I'm just I'm just saying what I would do if that were me. Yeah, but, of course. Um, yeah. It's super weird that the yeah. only, I feel like the only reason we know this happened so far is because of that dash cam video, that, that innocent yeah. bystander. Because if not, nobody called the cops. This seems like a weird right. murdery and kind of thing. Like, I mean, I guess this goes to, Celine, uh, into you think about like how, how we are all so focused on just what is happening in our own heads and in front of us. And we're not really taking the time to look at the world around us. And maybe it's because of our phones and because we're just all 
you know, sort of, uh, but, I mean, how do you not drive past that and see mm-hmm. a couple guys with guns probably yeah. into a car? There should have been 10 911 calls from that intersection. Yeah, that's very, yeah. very strange. Some out of a movie. It really is. That's yeah. that's a that's a wild, wild story. Anything else that's grabbing your attention today? Oh, that's, I mean, I mean we're going to work on, we're working on a bunch of stuff today. There's a, that the story out of Castleberry from last, last week where the, there was a down power line between how, two houses caught um, both houses on fire. Um, so we're still working Wowza. on that, um, trying to figure out what's going to happen with both of those homes. If those people are going to, you know, get oh, their is homes that paid the, for. Uh, the young kid who saved the dogs. Yeah. So that's oh, not what a, a nice guy. Story. It was like yeah. this teenager just went kid. in and saved the puppies. Yep. And it was, this he guy did. was like, these are. These dogs are my life, and uh, he yeah. he truly saved my own life by saving my, well, my dogs. So he broke into a house and got a dog okay, for a good break, reason. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. no, but he like he went into a house <laughs> and got a dog. On fire. Yeah, <laughs> for a, for a good reason as opposed to the other guy. Yeah. Juxtaposition. Correct. Okay. Well, how about this? That's correct. Your studio setup looks fantastic. Thanks, you Great guys. job. Very very good. Really fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this so with you every week. Angle. So, yeah, it's she's awesome. she's streaming over I don't there. Know if I'll be able to keep digital director Josh with me every week, but <laughs> well, thank but you, Josh, for being today. there. Uh, and Casey, who greatly put all of this together for us. Brilliant. So, kudos to both of them. And I hate to say this, but C Lane, we should talk to the tech people at Fox Thirty Five. Yeah, no ass. Of course. About the moving shot. Yeah. <laughs> and how we can recreate. We might steal that. We might Look, steal I, that. I can do it too. Cool. Look at this. Huh? <laughs> Every time she knows that thing, it takes her forever to put it back up. <laughs> it does too. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Amy Coffell. Yeah, Amy Coffell. See you next week. There she goes. Amy you, Coffell Amy. from Fox 35, the best of the best. And make sure you start your day every single day, just like we do. And no matter where you're watching or listening, you can go over to Fox35Orlando.com and get all caught up with everything happening in the news. And I would suggest you start keeping an eye on that story about the carjacking, because that one might get some some national play and turn into a bigger story even from here. Okay, when we come back, we'll get into this sports story. We got to pay off the story that C Lane brought up that uh, we are going to wait until the appropriate time to mm, to address. Yes. Uh, you don't remember the story, do you? Oh, okay. No, no, now, no, I no. Do. now I do. I remember. Yeah. yeah, I remember. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. This coming up next on the news, Junkie. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's a bit of delays on I-4 due to an accident eastbound before Sand Lake Road. The left shoulder is blocked there. Authorities are still working on that accident on Old Winter Garden Road eastbound at John Young Parkway. An earlier accident still causing a bit of delays on Colonial Drive eastbound between Tampa Avenue and before Orange Blossom Trail. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kid's future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, Perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800 777 1979 now. 800 777 1979. 800 777 1979. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or mbc which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body they mean even more i take ibrance palpal cyclip 
Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand's and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand's, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar. SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take ZQuil. ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQuil nights. Explore our products at ZQuil.com. Use is directed. Keep out of reach of children. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like One Hit Wonders Radio. The greatest one hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And ones that'll make you say, oh yeah. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now. Commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Now is your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Check. C-H-E-C-K. Check. That's check. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm. Good luck. If you're not confused... You are not paying attention. Right now, we're all over the place, and we're thinking, Cordy and I, about after being prodded about this by two different people. First, uh, our friends Ashley and Scott told us about that damn Little Dicky show, and they say you got to see this, you got to watch this show. I started that over the weekend, and I, I don't know how I missed it because it came out in 2020. Yeah, it is incredibly hilarious. Yeah, it's and you were the second one where I was like, you know what? There's more pressure to watch this thing. It seems like it's probably good. I don't know why we haven't watched it either. It's just kind of been on the outskirts of things that we're interested in. But Courtney goes, hey, uh, you know what's out right now or coming out soon? I'm not sure. I, th- I think it might just be out right now. She goes, there's a sequel to that, The Jinx. It's like The Jinx Part oh, 2. I, I just saw the trailer for it. Jinx again. Yeah. Uh, I, double, jinx, sir. 
But I don't know if you're with me on this or not, Sabrina, but I was like, I feel like we already did everything there. Yeah, <laughs> but that first round was so good. Yes. It's from the same people. Is so it? there has okay. to be everything that, you know, happened afterwards. I mean, obviously the guy, spoiler alert, mm-hmm. confessed. Yeah. Well, with, no, he, did, he he says he didn't confess. He's dead now, right? I mean, he right? absolutely confessed, though. Uh, it was so, in the thing. It was. Uh, uh, hold, hold on. Let, let's let's go back and recap this for people who have no idea what we're talking about. The, on HBO, I believe, there yeah. was a series called The Jinx back in 2015. This docu-series came out when all of these true crime things were starting to pop off, and it was about a guy named Robert Durst. And Robert Durst was alleged to have killed multiple people. And when you looked at him, he was like an unassuming older man, and it didn't look like somebody who you might think would do this. But they kept interviewing him, and you learn a little bit more about him, and he's kind of like a dark, uh, strange man. And and one of the key scenes of this docu-series a scene that in, indeed I believe led to the reopening of the case against him and even some charges against him. He's doing this interview and they're asking questions like, did you do it? Did you kill these people? Did you do this? And he, he, he gets like all weird. He starts, was it hiccuping or burping or what, what burping. was he doing? Nervous he's like, burp. He, he starts like these nervous burps. He's like, but, uh, and, it, and it's, it gets really strange. And then he, he says enough is enough. And he quits the interview. But he's still got his microphone on him, and the microphone is still running to the equipment for the the docu series. And in the bathroom, he says, uh, "You know, he's like he's um, basically talking about his performance during the interview." And he says, "You know, because you did it, because you did it." And and what he said was he was talking about how it made him look like he did it, and he was like speaking in a facetious way. And they're saying, no, this is just him admitting to the crime. And you could take it either way, really, if you wanted to. Uh, it would be like if C Lane was interviewing me about a murder and I got nervous during the interview when he was asking me questions. What the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> and I started hiccuping during the interview that C Lane was giving me. And I'm, I go to the bathroom and my mic's on. I'm like, hiccuping. Why am I hiccuping? Well, because I did it. That's why I'm hiccuping. I'm hiccuping because I did it. And. It, to me, I'm going, it, everybody's going to think this. And to everybody else, they're going, no, he's just admitting this. And so the case exploded, and it was this big, giant thing afterwards. But we already know, basically, that we think he did these things. We already know that there was a trial. We already know that he died. What more is there to explore in this world? I mean, they just they want more content. That's why... Uh, Tiger King had a season two. What did we learn there? Nothing. Nothing. Um, what was the guy that uh, the Stephen Avery show had a season two? But I thought Nothing. that was a whole different murder. I think that this one should be interesting because the aftermath of what happened. Because mm-hmm. all we got at the end of the first jinx was it unfolding. Yeah. And it was, you know, live, essentially, that we all saw via the news of what happened with Robert Durst. Which is a rarity. That doesn't usually happen. Like That your docu-series, an episode drops, and the cops react to it? <laughs> That's that, that does not happen all the time. They said the sequel appears unbelievably and tantalizingly to be hiding a last-second shocker of its own. Given that only four of its six episodes were provided to the press ahead of its premiere... However, any such revelations will stay buried until the follow-up finale on May 26th. Because I didn't uh, check my inbox on the Jinx episodes. Mm, you, you didn't learn anything about this? You didn't, well, you didn't know this was out there? Uh, they said four episodes were provided to the press. I think oh. uh, that would count. I think we would count <laughs> under that. We get forgotten. Where's my episodes? We? <laughs> we get forgotten in the mix sometimes. Uh, real quick, before we find out what's coming up on the next episode... In the world of sports this weekend, all eyes were on the new god of the green. Sports! PGA's Scotty Scheffler was out there doing his thing and winning himself another Masters green jacket. He's the new guy, man. He's the guy. He's the new Phil Mickelson. He's the new Tiger Woods. This guy has got it right now. Scheffler is the number one golfer in the world by a margin not seen since Tiger Woods in his prime, says the Associated Press. In nine tournaments this year, he doesn't have a single round over par. 
and he's earned over $15 million. Gambles less than Mickelson, plays better than Tiger Woods. Although, was that was that video you sent of, to us in the group text, to uh, Celine and I, Sabrina? Was yeah. that from this weekend? From what I understand. I mean, it came up to me first as like a meme. Mm-hmm. And then I did as much, you know, quick research I could on my phone. And apparently that was, you know, it was a video from TV. So I could only assume it was from the Masters. And it's Tiger very, Woods. It's very confusing because it's into a crowd. But obviously <laughs> somebody got hit by a ball, right? <laughs> yeah, somebody got drilled by a shot that missed the green and it was like people laying on on the ground. It was a whole scene. Scheffler pulled ahead with magnificent shots around the turn, poured it on along the back nine as his challengers melted away with mistakes. And he closed with a four under 68 to claim his second masters in three years with a four shot victory. He's the man in the golf world. He is the guy right now. You know, what's crazy. Um, uh, Tiger Woods, for his five Masters titles, this is how much like the 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 prize money in golf is like ballooning. Mm-hmm. Tiger won his first Masters in 1997. For that, he got four hundred eighty six thousand dollars. Damn. Uh, then he won again in 2001, 2002, five, and two, 2019, and all combined, he got five point eight million dollars for those five Masters titles. Scotty Scheffler has won two, and he's at six point three. Damn, it's a lot of money in that world. And just this year, he's earned $15 million. We're in April. <laughs> We're in April. He's made $15 million just this year on these tournaments. He's just far and away better than everybody else out there on the golf course. Some people are calling him the Sean Watson of golf. That's what I'm hearing. Those are some of the, the murmurs that are going around the golf world right now. And I don't know if he's that good. Some people are calling him the Sean Watson of golf. And uh-huh. every one of those people is in that room you're sitting in that, right now. No, that, you don't know that that's true. Every, There's rumors. I, I know 100% that that's true. That, there are People are talking. People are talking about this. Scotty Scheffler. Congrats to him. What's coming up on the next episode? Well, what's coming up on the next episode? Grimes freaked out at Coachella uh, on a scale of one to Titanic PCP chowder. Well, apparently that's to be determined, you icebergs. Bruno Mars superfan was busted for being not so amazing at Photoshop. Plus, Jelly Roll getting jelly rolled by another Jelly Roll who deemed they were the first to roll. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. A lot to unpack there in the Jelly Roll world. I don't know. We'll see. How, do you, how do you create a teaser, huh? I'm ready for it. We'll see what's going on. Well, we, we know what's coming up now. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio it, it, it is. Monsters in the morning. You would go do uh, Chippendale for a bunch of ladies uh, if you thought you can get away with it. Yeah, right now I keep getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> the Monsters in the morning. Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good afternoon. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and I've got your forecast here for Central Florida this afternoon. The high temperature, 86 degrees. A beautiful day with just a couple of high clouds around. You know what? This week is going to be characterized by warming temperatures. In fact, by the middle and end of the week, we're in the middle 90s. It's going to be the first real taste of that late Florida spring weather, except we won't have to worry about the humidity. It'll be really dry, so at least... It'll be somewhat tolerable. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. Every parent wants their child to find happiness in whatever path they choose. Florida Prepaid has a plan to help you support them by affordably and confidently saving for college. Our 529 prepaid plans start at just $34 a month, and you have peace of mind knowing that when you lock in 2024 prepaid plan prices, your payment will never go up. It's inflation-proof and further proof that it's the best way to ensure the brightest future. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. 
The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Hoda Kotb from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. This is the sound of real people across Florida betting on sports. It's the sound of winning your bet only on Hard Rock Bet. And if your first bet doesn't win, you get up to $100 back to try again. Hard Rock Bet is Florida's only legal sports book. Your home for betting hoops for any sport you choose. Download Hard Rock Bet now and get two shots at your first bet. Win, or you'll get up to $100 back as a bonus bet. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 plus and physically present in Florida to play. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. Discover a career that matters at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Be part of an innovative team delivering world-class health care and benefits to America's veterans. Enjoy robust benefits, work-life balance, and career development opportunities. Join a diverse and inclusive community that values your unique background and skills. A community where nearly one in three of your colleagues are veterans themselves. Apply now at vacareers.va.gov. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take ZQuil. ZQuil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQuil nights. Explore our products at ZQuil.com. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. <laughs> If it's important to you, it's on and probably being mocked by.
and beyond and thank you for hanging out with us on a monday we appreciate you learn more about the show at thenewsjunkie.com right now let's jump into it let's do the next episode because there's a lot on tv and you can't possibly keep up with all of it even though you should because what else are you going to talk about yeah i'll take a vodka soda nothing <laughs> weather's nice <laughs> it's time for the next episode with sabrina hey Smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Hold up. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don. That Mortgage Guy Don.com. And of course, the Home Loans Radio Show, refinancing, buying your first dream home, perhaps you into business to expand your business. Well, he is the top dog when it comes to commercial loans. So if you want to start at a place and with a person, that has your best interest in mind. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat, come pay your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. Who's a mirror? 15 years ago, 2009. This guy right here. Oh, oh hey, uh, hey, that is me, Miss Eric Chief. Carmen. Carmen is right. <laughs> Eric Carmen was sentenced to 180 days in prison, my authority. Well, what'd he do? Uh, he got a second DUI in two years. <laughs> my authority. Uh, if I'm doing the math right, one DUI Thor-ta. a year. Or ta. His blood alcohol level was 0.234. <laughs> which like is almost carbon. what? Three times a legal limit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was super hammered. He uh, wisely uh, pled no contest and got off. Giddy. <laughs> That's not the same show. With only having to serve 30 days. And, um, well, he was absolutely hammered, from what I understand. And he was arrested. Not only did he slam his car into a fire hydrant, Jeez. but then he said, I will absolutely do the field sobriety test. <laughs> and he uh, did a very bad job with that. So here we are, uh-huh. 15 years later. And I do believe he is dead now. Yeah. If someone could verify that. I think no. he died pretty recently. Yeah, it was like a year ago or something, right? Yeah. All right. And now he's in heaven drinking as much as he wants. Eric Carmen, dead. March 2024. Oh, there you uh, go. Last month. Um, And now we have this guy right here. Grimes? Grimes is right. Just guess well because done, of the cool tease. Guy. Oh, okay. I, I don't know any actual Grimes, just for the record. I only know because I Googled it. I don't know her song as much as I know how her kids are named, very strangely. And now she's at Coachella, but her performance did not go as planned. Uh, it was plagued, apparently, by constant stoppages Uh-oh. that she blamed on technical difficulties. I mean, we've been there. We've done that, but we keep sure. moving on. Uh, but uh, now I, all I see is her shrieking. I've yet to see her full set. I've just seen the compilations and people rating her straight up screams throughout the entire Coachella set. Uh oh. She took the stage Saturday night, uh, ready to bring the house down, but instead her uh, DJ set was down uh, in the dumps, tech style. Here are her screams uh, compilation. <laughs> It's not explain what happened. <laughs> but basically says her show's having a major technical issue before adding she can't fix a tempo problem because she isn't great at math. Damn. Oh, no. Yeah, she's uh, performing in front of tens of thousands of people. Isn't one of her kid named after like a math equation or something? And she uh, doesn't, she's not good at math? Uh, yeah, what was it? X? Isn't her kid like A-X-C-I-X minus this? Frankly, I thought they just let their cat walk across a keyboard and that, that was the name. <laughs> True. No, because the some of the symbols you would have to do like shift and control in order to mm-hmm. get them on the keyboard. But I'm no mathematician. <laughs> Anyways, she tweeted out saying, or X'd out with her X's. 
Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, right. the, the whole int- another meaning for her, actually. I want to apologize for the technical issues with the show tonight. I want to come back real strong. And usually I always handle every aspect of my show myself to save time. This is one of the first times. Oh, now we blame somebody else. It's one of the first times I've outsourced essential things like record box BPMs. And it was all their fault. So we shall see if she makes it to Coachella weekend two. I know someone who won't, and that's the super fan of this guy. T Pain? Nope. Uh, It's uh, he loves a fedora, but it's not Jason Mraz. Kind of Um, a crazy face, very talented. It rhymes with Bluno Bars. Oh. Bluno Bars. <laughs> Jason Mraz. <laughs> we really needed some hints there. A man who allegedly forged a VIP ticket and a Singapore Sports Hub staff pass attempted to enter a Bruno Mars concert and was hauled off to court, baby. His name is Carl with a K, Felipe Nijumo Tengua. He's 23, uh, 23 years old from Cameroon. And he faces six charges in total, two charges of forgery, one count each of criminal trespass, attempted criminal trespass, cheating, and attempted cheating. Damn. So they'll get you over at Cameroon. Uh, He is a huge fan of Bruno Bruno Mars, and he was over in Singapore at the National Stadium. And it was April 3rd, 5th, and 6th. He has been reprimanded since April 6th, and his case is going to be mentioned in court on April 12th. It's so interesting how different court is outside of the United States. Yeah, yeah. It will be mentioned in court. Uh, The charge sheet says that on April 3rd, around 545, he was there at opening night, and he had a staff pass and a VIP ticket. He's like, I think one of these will work, so let me just try both of them, and neither did. So he tried both of these items. There was another person who pled guilty a couple weeks ago for criminal trespass and jailed for two weeks for uh, trying to get into the Taylor Swift concert over there. So uh, be warned. If you can't get into the concerts in the United States, they'll totally get you for Photoshop passes elsewhere. Jelly Roll. We know him. We love him. Unless, of course, you're a huge fan of the wedding band that is now suing his ass. Uh Uh-oh. Wow, Wow. that 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 lined up. almost perfectly timed, my friend. Did it on purpose. Being sued by a Philadelphia-based wedding band called Jelly Roll. They've been around since 1980. Damn. And now they try to sue? Young. They're young. They're very young, new band. They're super old. Like, very, 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 very old. But once Jelly Roll became a massive country music star, it's been messing with their brand. (laughs) Mm-hmm. <laughs> because people don't have eyes, and they're like, we can get Jelly Roll for two thousand dollars to play Roll. at our wedding. He's a he's a real big guy. He is a big boy, but he is so sweet. I just want to yeah. hug him, especially when it was on uh, the iHeart Music Awards recently. We got to hear mm-hmm. his backstory. I just love him. But uh, Philly wedding bands do not. Pretty easy to Google nowadays. When you search for Jelly Roll, you get. Just the country music star, and they said that it's causing irreparable harm to the band. You used to get Dunkin' Donuts, and that was about it. They've reached out to Jelly Roll's people several times, but <laughs> they're just being ignored because it's probably going into the spam folder, my guy. That's where, oh. that's where that donut joke is going, too. Wait, what happened? <laughs> sea light. Go, hit it again. Did it work? No, no, the first time was enough. We got, we got enough. Of it. Oh. I said Jelly Roll, if you Googled it. Would probably just, you know, back in the day, you'd just get Dunkin' Donuts. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, man, the timing was close. You're welcome. Speaking of time, I've run out of it because of that back and forth. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, Sila. Big congratulations to this gal right here. Tina Turner. Oh, yeah. Tina Turner's I almost right. said Faye. All right. <laughs> Well, I That'd do love shocker. her rendition of Proud Mary, but Tina Turner is getting a huge honor, like a huge physical honor in bronze because her birthplace is to build a bronze statue in her honor. Bill Rawls Jr., mayor of Brownsville, Tennessee, says that this, the city has decided to fund a six-foot-tall bronze statue of Miss Tina Turner right nice. by the high school that she attended. 
How much do you think that bronze statue of Tina is going to cost, gentlemen? Oh, that bronze statues must be expensive. Um, six feet. Why is it six bronze. feet tall? She wasn't six feet tall, was she? She seems No, but you think a bronze statue is usually bigger than the person's. You yeah, can see it from far away. I guess it would be weird to like be taller than the bronze statue. Right. Um, I'm going to say $20,000. Interesting guess. $100,000. $150,000, you guys. Damn. Yep, and that will be erected uh, very soon. I don't have the date. On the boob tube, we have The Voice. American Idol, so you think you can dance. Deal or no deal, Island, who's getting voted off. And uh, you can also catch Seth Meyers on Jimmy Kimmel. Follow your dreams and me on Instagram at Sabrina Amber. And most importantly, stay with me and make it. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. I'm really good at that. I think it sounds like Cartman to me. I close my eyes and I'm transported to hey, South Park. Dad, what are you going to talk about next? Uh, well, <laughs> I'll tell I'm you here what. in South Park. I'm not, I don't know. It's like in South Park, but not mm-hmm. Cartman per Is it not se. deep enough? I don't know. Oh. I think it's there. I know it's Cartman immediately. I know exactly it what I'm dealing with. It honestly gets me very lightheaded. I forget to breathe while doing it. Well, we've got this story about sea lane and pirating that is coming up on the show. Okay, wait um, that. That's coming up soon. Uh, and Uh-oh. also... I'm not going to be able to stop doing it the whole show. <laughs> well, it's we'll happening. see what happens with that. Will the accent stick? Well, it's not really an accent. Um, will no, the, it's something uh, wrong with my brain. The impersonation, she got V-chipped over there. A new airline just dropped. Why? Wait until you hear why this airline is charging $6,000 for a flight. It's coming up next in the News Junkie. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. It's getting pretty mellow on the roadways. On I-4, you could expect your regular delays, however, before U.S. 27 and after Sand Lake Road on Florida's Turnpike. The right lane is blocked, causing a bit of delay southbound south of County Road 470. Traffic is backed up to Lake County Line. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because real radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 dollars by putting a grand in your hand you know the deal with our national contest we'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m to 9 p.m and all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win with 13 chances every weekday you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand but there is a catch because there's always a catch right if you get a call you need to answer your phone that's right the key to winning is picking up your phone when we call so don't send us to voicemail this contest brought to you locally by mills air mills air been in business since 1992 that's over 30 years carrier factory authorized dealer rebates up to 1275 dollars for brand new carrier units turn to the experts carrier and you can always turn to the experts at millsair.com I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. 
The 2024 NFL Draft is here, and we have the ultimate watch party for you. It's Bud Light and 96.9 The Game's Draft and Crash Party at the Hilton Orlando Altamont Springs. We've taken over the ballroom to hang out and watch the draft. Just $28 gets you an all-you-can-eat buffet and two beer tickets. Bud Light and 96.9 The Game's Draft and Crash Party at the Hilton Orlando Altamont Springs. And if you want to crash for the night, take advantage of these special room rate for just 96 bucks plus tax to get tickets log on to 969thegame.com slash hilton brought to you by mills air help keep our community safe and healthy during national prescription drug take back day april 27th find a collection site near you at deatakeback.com do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting. Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone, 15-year-old water heater, place your bets. Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? I have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! FrankGayServices.com I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just gonna press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for $3.79 post-haste. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I bought a copy from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts.
Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, FUN, F-U-N, FUN. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Join in on the chaos. We eagerly await your dispatch. This is... Excited though. Tickets cost six thousand oh, dollars of yeah. flights. Okay, let's do it. A little pricey. Well, I'll tell you in just a moment here, C Lane. The first thing I wanted to to talk about here, if we have a moment of our time, is there is now like official word out that they're going to be working on a Chris Farley movie, and uh, I had heard rumors of this for a while. And anytime this comes up, they start talking about, like, who's going to be the the role of Chris Farley in that movie. And then how gritty are they going to be? Like, Chris Farley yeah. died in a pretty vile way. Like, he died after a night of partying and, like, hookers and drugs. And there's a photo of him, autopsy photo, leaked out at some point in time. And he's all, like, purple and crazy looking. And... Mm. He lived a wild life. He lived life on 11, man. Chris Farley was a, a guy who just, he lived, and he was funny as hell, and he was effervescent in his personality. I don't think and it's going to get that gritty. You don't think I mean, so? Uh, I, there's no way you can just ignore his uh, behaviors. Uh, like no, that. because his... he died of a drug overdose. You can't not have that in there somewhere. But um, there's a quote here, and I'm trying to uh, figure out it's, somebody said, this is a glory story, not a tale from the crypt, ready to honor Christopher. Okay, so it's going to be more about, like, just how exceptionally funny he was mm. and SNL days and those kind of things. This says the director is going to be Josh Gad. Who, oh, yeah. I didn't uh, know he was in uh, directing, but he's been in a bunch of stuff. I know him from Modern Family, strangely enough. But you, you, I, uh, he was also in the live-action Beauty and the Beast. He was the uh, gay character, or that they didn't outright say was gay, but very much implied, and had people losing their minds over. He was. Uh, he's done a lot of work on Broadway. He was in. I think it was in the original cast of the Book of Mormon. I'm looking at his Wikipedia page right here, and he's uh, Olaf in the Frozen hey, franchise. That's got a great career. <laughs> he's done all kinds of stuff, and uh, he was even working on the Book of Mormon, so he got a Grammy for Best Musical Theater Album and a bunch of other stuff along with that. And now he's going to be allegedly uh, at the helm for this Chris Farley biopic that they're working on. And it says Paul Walter Hauser will be the star. I don't know that I've ever heard that yeah, name yeah. before this you moment. Know, you know who Paul Walter Hauser is. Do I? He's been in. Uh, so he played Richard Jewell in the movie about Richard Jewell. Oh, my God. You're absolutely right. Then, I 100% know this guy. And then you also know him from the uh, thriller Blackbird, where he was the he was the guy that was in prison, and Taron Edgerton was yes. making friends with him, and he was the, the guy that talked like this the whole time. That, that was, was a great character. He, he, the guy is a brilliant actor. I mean, the, the, he just play he plays these these losers. You know, Richard Jewell, he nailed. I mean, he really got like a feel. You you kind of you kind of felt like, wow, what a what a putz this guy is like, you uh -huh. know? and then uh, when he did that Blackbird, uh, man, I kept just creeping Ashley out all the time by making that voice because it was just like <laughs> his, he, he kept it up the whole time and it was just really, really creepy. Yeah. That, if you haven't seen that series, it was good. And he was a gem in it. I totally know this guy. You're absolutely right. Paul Walter Hauser is going to be playing Chris Farley in this movie. And if it were anybody but him, I might question the ability to take on that role. It's not necessarily because he's a dead ringer visually for Chris Farley. He's exactly. I, I don't think he is. 
I don't think he looks super a lot like him, but if he can pull off all these other roles that Lane was just mentioning, then he he might be able to pull this off. I think that'll be an interesting one to watch. It will adapt the best-selling biography, The Chris Farley Show, a biography in three acts by Tom Farley Jr., which is Chris Farley's brother. Is Tom Farley the one who is in the boy band thing, or is he? does Chris Farley have multiple brothers? What do you mean, what boy band thing? One of Chris Farley's brothers is an actor. Yeah, who, one of them's a, a stand-up comic. Yes, and and he's done like some decent things um, in his career, but obviously it's always eclipsed by the fact that he is Chris Farley's brother. That's just all oh, you ever end up. Kevin Farley is the one that's a comedian. Uh, excuse me, is is the actor I believe. Yeah, but this then guy Tom right here, Farley Jr. Kevin Farley, who you look at and you just like see Chris Farley, were he alive today? He's got three brothers, John Farley, Tom Farley Jr. and Kevin Farley. And uh, the the biography that is going to be leading all of this will be the one from Tom Farley Jr., uh, one of his brothers, who I, I'm not familiar with until this. But that should be interesting. Oscar and Emmy nominees, Scott Newstater, Newstater and Michael H. Weber from The Disaster Artist are going to be writing the screenplay of this. And it says, before his tragic death in 1997 of a drug overdose, Farley rose to fame during his five-season stretch on Saturday Night Live. During that time, he uh, starred in beloved sketches, including Lunch Lady Land with Adam Sandler, Chippendale's audition with Patrick Swayze, Matt one. Foley, motivational speaker who famously lives in a van down by the river. Also, he was in Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, and the often forgot, but you shouldn't forget it, Beverly Hills Ninja Friends. Mm, yeah, that one's <laughs> often forgot. Yeah. For, yeah. With good reason, I think. Uh, let's see what you got on your mind. Let's go over to your dispatches. Actually, let me get to this airline before I miss the tease, uh, uh, the tease payoff. There's a new airline that is launching right now. As I said, a little pricey, $6,000 for a flight. Here's what the story from courts uh, says. A lot of people leave their dogs behind when they get on an airplane and go somewhere. The flying experience can be unnerving for dogs. And I will just tell you this. I don't think I would ever put lady on an airplane. And this is not because I'm afraid of flying, which I am. I hate flying. Uh, I'll still push myself to do it no matter what it is. But I hate it. Um, it's because I've seen video of where the dogs go on the plane, and I don't dig it. That's I'm not, not a that's, fan. It's not always the case, though. It's like in the belly of the plane, like a little roped right. off area. But, but for a lady, you could probably, uh, depending on the airline, bring get, her on board, get away with a situation. And I'm not when I say get away, not like you know. Buy her an Amazon vest, or buy her a, 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 a service dog vest on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Like that—that's something people do. But um, when uh, remember when I had guest dog for a while? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, and so uh, that, that was for a long while. It was yeah, like three, <laughs> four months. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, uh, it seemed like eight. But uh, we we had guest <laughs> dog. Uh, she flew that dog uh, to Orlando. And uh, it sat like under the seat, like in a in a kennel. Mm -hmm. I think it was a little drugged up, but uh, yeah, you know, they were able to do it like on board as opposed to, you know, in steerage or, or wherever. I, I think it just comes out of the size of the dog. But if they're larger and they have to go in the belly of the plane, I've seen like some footage. You should look this up. Where dogs go on a plane, and you go, uh, that's not how I pictured it. For some reason, you go, that's not. I didn't picture dogs just sliding around down there. In the plane, it, oh, it's, it seems like it would be frightening as hell for them, but not so on this airline. It's called Bark Air. It's the name of the airline, the Bark Air. It said it gets away from the unnerving experience. Crates, injuries, or worse can befell your dog. Outright bans in some cases on dogs. This is BarkBox, the popular subscription dog company, and their service called Bark Air. It says, too often dogs are denied travel, confined, confined to a duffel bag, or have to endure the stress of flying in cargo. Recognizing these confined challenges. Confined to a duffel bag? Who's got, got <laughs> who a doggy that? duffel bag? With a head just popping out? Bark I, mean, I guess presents... I've seen stuff like that. It just, when I hear duffel bag, it sounds like you just shoved them in there and zipped it shut. 
It does. It's a more fun and humane option for dogs traveling with their two-legged uh, human companions. And thank you so much, Bark Air. Thank you. It's very kind of you to do this now that I see the price tag. Uh, unlike heaven, they say, Bark Air is not for all dogs or any human companions under 18. The planes and the pups aboard will be flying between small private airports in New York, L.A., and London. The flights will cost $12,000 round trip or $6,000 one way. Eight grand if you're going between New York and London, they now, said. I'm I'm looking at this website here, and I'm I'm going just New York to L.A. Yeah, I'm going for September, and then it says tickets. Uh, each ticket includes a seat for one dog and one human. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, right, we, that, but wouldn't that be weird though if you if we you only have one dog? Don't you want to just pay for two human seats and one dog seat? You could. Uh, you're going to be on a sweet flight because it's a Gulfstream G5S or right. similar. So you're talking about a G5 that you're flying in. You're flying private, but you're flying private with a dog, and that's what they want to do. They want to fill that hole in the uh, in the, the marketplace. And really what this is for is rich celebrities that want to fly the dogs to London or L.A., New York, yeah, New York, do LA. that already. Yeah, they can't. This, they, is, this is like mid-celebrity or mid-to-low celebrity. Where you don't have your own G five, yeah. yes. You like uh, this. This might be somebody who has like an ongoing supporting actor role. Mm -hmm. Ran on YouTube with a nightmare story. I was on a two hour flight with a cat below us in the plane belly. It was screaming the entire flight. It was horrible. How did you even hear that? That you could is hear bad. the cat screaming from. That, that doesn't sound possible. I don't like that at all. That makes you feel so sad for the animal down there. I don't like that. Uh, we got to get to your dispatches. Those are right here in front of me, and I guess we'll get to some of these, starting with Guitar Slinger, TD, Rhino Love, and many more who have decided to chime in on a lovely Monday, plus this family. They bought an octopus, and it destroyed the family. It destroyed their home. It Hilarious. destroyed Hilarious. Everything. You saw this story? I saw your it's tweet a, about it. It's a wild one. And it's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Get on Real Radio 104.1. There's a bit of delays due to an accident on State Road 429. The right lane is blocked northbound between New Independence Parkway and Stony Brook West Parkway. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Forest City Road eastbound at Palm Springs Drive. The right lane is blocked there. There's slowdowns on I-4 eastbound before US-27 and after State Road 429 to watch out for. See traffic troubles called the Valvoline and Stin Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, they're rolling back prices to what they were in 1999. So come in now and get a half rack of ribs with two sides for just $9.99 or make it a full rack for just $14.99. Smoky Bones. Meat is what we do while supplies last. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay. FrankGayServices.com. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. SolarSource has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at Solar. SolarSource.com slash monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Enjoying the news, Junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? 
That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Go to JustCallMo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Nowadays, it seems like wherever I go, there's a vacuum emptying out my purse. I go to get gas. I go to buy groceries. I go to the coffee shop. But then the strangest thing happened. I went to McDonald's for breakfast, and all I heard was... You see, McDonald's has a deal where I can choose any two for just two seventy nine. dollars I can choose from a sausage McMuffin, a sausage biscuit, a sausage burrito, hash browns, or a small hot coffee. I chose a sausage burrito with fluffy scrambled egg, pork sausage, melty cheese, green chilies, and onion. And I paired it with crispy hash browns, all for just two seventy nine. dollars It's such a good deal. I'm using the money I saved to get my car clean. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrand's Palpocyclib. Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand's and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand's, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Hi, guys. Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website fun f-u-n fun enter it now on our website realradio.fm good luck send him your tips and your deepest darkest secrets email tips at the the song uh and i sing along whenever it's on in the car <laughs> courtney's like i have no idea what this person is saying <laughs> and a dun, 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 dun. there's one part where i said it sounds like donkey kitty but i don't think that's donkey right kitty. I, can yeah. see that. yeah, I have that no works. idea what's happening to that song i have another song
Oh, uh, you don't know Tate McRae? Get with it, c Yeah, Jesus. seriously. Oh, You're a father. You're old. Yeah, you got to get with it. You got you to be with the young folks. You have a young folk. You know what I mean? Yeah, too Just, young. Yeah, he can't listen to music yet, necessarily. That's what we discovered today. What? what? What's that? Just the teeniest little sliver oh. tooth. Oh, oh no, oh. really? Oh, man. He's going to be eating meat soon. Like, uh, 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 Ashley was, like, uh, holding him uh, on the couch and... And uh, I don't know if he, he does this a lot. Like, he'll grab your hand and just put it towards his mouth. Mm-hmm. Just like he wants, I do the same thing all the time. He wants, uh, <laughs> he wants everything to be in his mouth. And so, like, fingers, you know, he loves fingers. And she felt it, and she's like, oh, she, she all of a sudden changed faces. She was like, oh, my gosh. And uh, I was like, oh, great. Now everybody's going to want to feel this, too. He's going to be in heaven because it's just going to be fingers in his mouth all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect day for him. Uh, when I think about little kids, I think about I don't know the timelines very well anymore. Because oh, neither Dylan's do I. I'm like, must be something. walking and talking now, right? Yes, exactly. When when do the first words come out? When does he walk? When do these the big things that we're waiting for happen? When does he start talking? Those are the things. Mm. I guess what is, is talking like two? Uh, uh, I don't know. He he tries to. I mean, he does the he does he does the cooing. Yeah, but then he also does like the just like ba 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 ba, and and Ashley swears he's saying ba ma 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 ma. I'm like, does it count? <laughs> the craziest thing to me is when they do start like talking, quote unquote, mm-hmm. and then you meet someone's kid and they say something that makes zero sense. Like mm-hmm. a transcript would be gobbledygook. Yep. But worse the parents the are like, oh, you want to do this? Obviously, this is exactly what you were saying. And I'm like, how do you know? Yeah. Yeah, That's it's another crazy language. To me. Is this true? Alicia on YouTube says C Lane had Jackson at the first brew bus stop on Saturday. That uh, we, child is adorable. We stopped by for a little bit, said what? hello. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sabrina still hasn't met him. <laughs> Guess I'll meet you when you're fifteen or something. I don't know. <laughs> the brew bus people got to meet him. That's rude. What's Everyone C Lane doing? Everyone's got to meet the drink. <laughs> uh, you brought I'm him to the brew bus? What's weird is like I just show up at your house. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I'll have to do that. I mean, he would be there usually, right? Except for when, obviously, when we were at the brew bus thing. Right, right. We went right. to IHOP. We had a good little Saturday. It was nice. Mm-hmm. That's good. There you go. All right. <laughs> good for you. It's, like, it's great. Good. I tell him, I'm like, you know, everybody loved you, and mm-hmm. uh, said how cute you were, or how much you look like me, which means I'm cute. So it's a really <laughs> a win-win for me. That's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. And you brought him to IHOP too. Yeah. Is it, he doesn't, like, freak out and cry the whole time when he's in an IHOP? No, no. There were other children. Just like you do, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> there were other children crying in there, but he was being good. Look at that. Oh, man. Everything's kind of coming Babies, up for you huh? right now. But that means that the twos are going to be that more, that just that more terrible, I think. He's going to be Don't raging. sound like you're wishing for it, bro. Ah, he's going to go nuts. He's going to go for you. I hope it doesn't happen. I, he's going to be a perfect kid. I know he is. Tips yeah. of the news, junkie.com. Robbie emails. Here's what Robbie says to us. I just got engaged yesterday, he says. Right, muzzle. First time ever. <laughs> Asked for her. <laughs> <laughs> Not typically the phrase that comes after that. The temperature lasts. <laughs> he's just preparing himself, I think. I just got engaged yesterday. First time ever. Asked for her parents' blessing and everything, except I don't have a 5.5 size ring for her. What should I do, says Robbie? Um, uh, go to the store. What is a 5.5 size ring? Is that just like the diameter so, of the ring? Yeah, yeah. but I, I don't understand. You go get it fitted. Is that uh, not a thing? Ring. Maybe it just means he doesn't have a ring at all. And Do you propose bragging? without a ring? Is a 5.5 big? I'm small. It might be your first and not last engagement if you're going yeah. about it this way, my friend. You, make sure you're making the right move here, Robbie. That's number one. You make sure you know uh, that, that well, she's Timu in on this. Timu has a clearance of five point five. Five point five rings. How much on Timu? Um, now if I click this, yeah, five dollars and eighty three cents. Oh, it's perfect. She's gonna love it. That's perfect. If you spend over ten dollars on a wedding ring, you're a sucker. I'm just gonna put that out there. All the rest is marketing. So ten dollars tops. All the rest marketing by Claire's or Jewels or wh- whatever Claire's. the company. Is. I don't. Jewels. What are the company? What are the diamond company? What the big company? You know, you would get security called on you immediately if you walked into Claire's, Sean. 
Why? Oh, because it's a little it would girl be story. Weird. Yeah. 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 Um, I, don't, I don't like that it works this way. I don't like that that I happens. Love I know my it's own true. Uh, uh, Courtney all the time says things, and I'll be like, man, if I said that, it would be super weird. Clarence. Like, Courtney said just the other day, she was like, I stopped when I was running by the school and I watched the kids playing for a minute. And I was like, if I did that. Yeah, that'd be weird, man. It's so weird. If you guys are like, one thing Sean likes to do is he'll stop when he's walking by school and peer through the chain link fence at the students on the other side. It just, I'm going to talk about this on Monday. It just seems weird. But uh, I say make sure you're making the right move there, Robbie, and bring her in on it. Don't try to surprise her with something oh, that wow. she hates. Um, so uh, my wife's ring is a 5.5. Is it? Uh, yeah, I didn't even remember that. Did you have to reach out to a radio show in order to figure out where to get no, it? No, she had to send me the Amazon link to which one she wanted. Okay. That's the move. See? Yep. She knows exactly what she wants. You're not going to screw up. You're not going to make a mistake. Otherwise, it ends in a calamity. Why do you think the Golden Bachelor thing fell apart? Wrong ring? Wrong ring? No, and no. It, was, it had nothing to do with them just being old and not wanting to move in together. Uh, Jason says on YouTube, do not listen to Watson. Oh, my God. What what bad advice am I doling out here? I mean, there could be some bad advice packed in here. I think you were uh, he was commenting on the fact that you said anything over ten bucks, you're a sucker. Yeah, I know they cost more than that. They tend to. Well, what's the old thing they say that that again is just marketing by the jewelry companies? Is a year's salary or something? No, Which, a year's uh, salary. Well, did I make that up? <laughs> is it not Jesus, that much? Man. I would hope you could get a car you for know that much. You're rich when. <laughs> God, I, I I don't know how much is this supposed to be a month salary. Oh, you I'm know what I'm answering. talking about. There's like a phrase that people say, and they go, oh, "If you're gonna buy a wedding ring, it's a two it, to three month salary rule." Is a cultural tradition that suggests spending two to three month salary on an engagement ring. For example, if you make four thousand dollars a month, you should spend eight to twelve on an engagement ring. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> That's nice. Eight to 12. What if you just That's do like three companies. karaoke gigs in between them? <laughs> that makes more <laughs> sense to me. That's more financially responsible. Months or weeks? That's crazy. That's way too much money to spend on this. And let me tell you something else here, all right? It says the guy who has a, what, $10,000 camera in front of your ass? No, it's not $10,000. Uh, but let me tell you this, all right? I mean this. To How my many Indian engagement friends. rings can you buy with that studio right now? Oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah a good yeah. engagement ring. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, but to my Indian friends okay. out there listening to the show, <laughs> wow. um, I I want to say this as direct as I possibly can. You folks are absolutely out of control. Oh, <laughs> you have lost the plot. <laughs> okay. Indians are out of control. They're they've You're just they've, umbrella terming all Indians. Yes, Indians. I got to give it to them on one hand. They throw the greatest parties on planet Earth. They absolutely do. But they spend absorbent amounts of money on weddings. Indians? Oh, my. Have you ever seen an Indian wedding? I, I've never uh, been invited. Ordained. One. Well, Did you? It was half. Half Indian. Half regs. If it's a full-on Indian wedding, they, they do half like regs? an interest. Did you people. marry a bag of weed? <laughs> Reg. White people. <laughs> one reg, one, one Indian. Uh, it, it's such an ordeal. It's no such booze, an affair. Very spicy. They'll ride in on elephants and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then they have like four or five costume changes during the period of this wedding. They spent the an same insane thing amount of money. Just okay. No way. It's, it's bigger than a just okay. An Indian wedding is bigger than a just okay. They have glorious food in India. You have real problems with a couple of things. Number one, and I think you should address this immediately, some bathroom access issues. Uh, seems like a big problem. Number two, your power lines in your company look out of control. They look like they're just thrown up randomly and they're all spiraled. It looks like the cords in the corner of my studio closet where it's a rat's nest. That's what the power lines look like in India. But the thing that is most out of control is Indian weddings are a to-do, man. They are huge affairs. I, let me see. Hold on. Ready? There's no problem with that. How What's much the issue here? average Indian wedding cost? Let's see. Average Indian. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are you kidding me? Why are you screaming? 
The average cost of an Indian wedding in the USA is between two hundred and twenty five and two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. Do an average uh, uh, upper middle Regs. class. <laughs> There's Regs. too many zeros Regs. on that two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars. It almost looks like it's supposed to be two point eight million. Average American wedding costs, okay? Uh twenty eight thousand dollars in the state of Florida. Ten state times of Florida. That. For the Indian yeah, Americans, because you got a barbecue times. place, uh, you know, catering it. What state do you want? Uh, uh, Hawaii's twenty eight thousand dollars. Do upper middle class, or do actually, um, you know, rich people? I'm saying White average rich influencers. Well, I'm it's saying average. There. I didn't say rich Indians. I said how much is the average Indian wedding? And when you're, um, and I'm not saying it's. It's not my fault now. the Indians are rich. It's not my fault no. that they have more money. But if they're, if a majority of them are being told who to marry. Mm-hmm. And what? Maybe. Oh, that's you're suggesting that these are arranged much. marriages? I don't know what percentage of Indian um, marriages in the United States of America are arranged. Maybe it's a decent percentage, but if I know. If that... Indian listeners can please chime in so we can stop saying the wrong things. I'm not please saying the wrong things. I, I just bore it out with the facts. It's 10 times more money for the average American Indian wedding $225,000 to $285,000. And they got like concerts going on they have like celebrities okay, are showing I'm absolutely going to do the same for my own wedding so they have a and lot and i think that's so much money why give the couple two hundred eighty-five thousand dollars and go here you go get this is a big down payment on a house that's a, put this down and get out get a new place and start the house your life that you're in by yourself you want to celebrate with your peoples yeah get them you're not understanding i say instead of 285 on a wedding here's 285 for you as a couple wouldn't you rather have that if it was you? If do I? I mean, I feel like also if you're going to spend that much money, you probably have rich people coming to the wedding, and you could very well could get that in gifts. So it no seems like a win-win. way, no way. The average wedding is going to get two hundred eighty-five thousand dollars in terms of how much money the people give you. A- average wedding, okay. How many? <laughs> how many see. people are going to an Indian wedding? Average wedding, cash, gifts, total. Let's see if we can bring that up. Do that for Indian weddings too. Uh, it says it's about a hundred and sixty dollars on cash gifts per person that comes to the wedding. Okay, so, so let's do the math here. That's like five thousand bucks if you have fifty people at your wedding. That's and not going to cut it. You're not just but having I, fifty people. How many people like are you having at your wedding? Four hundred people. Three hundred people. For an Indian wedding, they're big weddings, man. Oh yeah, at their weddings they are. So, uh, so you're still talking about. You that still want to be... disagree with me, but now dollar signs are going to win this argument. There's no disagreeing here. It's just I am right about this, and you are wrong about this. The average That's Indian a great wedding argument, is... John, when you put it that way, for sure, man. Let me let me distill this down, all right? The average Indian wedding is two hundred and fifty to $280,000, 10 times more than the other uh, other average weddings in the United States of America. That's insane. That's my argument. <laughs> and Indian folks, I think you know this. I think you know it as well as I do. If you've ever been to one of those elaborate Indian weddings, or maybe you're Indian and you're hearing me talk about this, please send me a dispatch. Tell me if you agree or if you disagree right now, throwing the gauntlet down. How do you do that, you ask? You go to the newsjunkie.com. Go on your phone, hit record, follow the instructions. It'll take like five seconds. Record the dispatch, fire it off to us. And uh, let me know what your experience is. MFQ says, there was a wedding at a hotel I went near downtown Disney, the Hyatt. Tons of people at that particular wedding. Uh, and a lot of people are saying, there, somebody said they had performer groups, two elephants at this. Two wedding. elephants? Was that, there were 600 guests. That's awesome. 600 guests is insane. And 600 of them give you 150 bucks each. How do these people know money back? so many human beings? Oh, my God. I don't think you're understanding the math on this. Let's say 600 people, okay? Mm-hmm. 600 people times $150, which uh, the average amount, uh, average gifts. That If if the, every one of those 600 people who, by the way. $90,000. I already did the math. Got it. That, but they're only doing that if they go to your wedding. You can't say, I'm not going to have a wedding, and I want, the, I want the, the money. So you have to throw the wedding. And then if. 600 people give you 150 bucks, which is not going to happen. You get $90,000. It's just not, you're going to get the cheapos. You're going to get the people who are like, no, here's a crock pot. You know, here's a toaster for you. You're going to get all those people are going to run those numbers down. I think it's crazy. I don't know how they know so many people. 
Question. Do Indians just have more friends or something? What's going How did on? We get into the conversation. Uh, I, I forgot the the genesis Is there a of this news story about wedding. No, the I dispatcher did. or emailer that said he, he didn't the, the get ring. a ring. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> See. got it. So, sir, Thank you so much. please do not, <laughs> under any circumstances, have an Indian wedding, sir. There you All right, go. there you go. Now mm-hmm. we know. All right, uh, we he doesn't talk. even have a ring. I don't think he's going to have an Indian wedding. Mm-hmm. Probably true. we got to do the story about this octopus that destroyed an entire home. Can't wait to see what that spins out into. We've got a major brawl in a courtroom. We've Eight got directions s- everywhere. So many different things to get to on a lovely Monday, and it's coming up next on the News Junkie. You text us at 77031, and we say it on the air. Sometimes we might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. Thanks to a refreshing regular season, Jalen Brunson led the Knicks to the number two seed in the East. After Julius Randle went down, things could have went south quickly in the Big Apple. Instead, Brunson got better and became the superstar New York needed, like Jeter, Judge, Manning. Brunson embraced New York, grew with New York, and now he's ready to take the Knicks on a deep postseason run. I'm Colin Cowherd. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void or prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Listen up, my friends. Chances are very high that you're leaving money on the table. So let that mortgage guy, Don, help you get the money off the table and back in your hands where it belongs. If you got a quote already... Well, you can get a free, fast quote review at thatmortgageguydon.com. Hit the Compare Quote button, and Don will review your quote today. Try the Compare Quote feature and know if you're getting the best deal. If not, Don will make sure he finds you the best deal. He also offers HELOCs, and he has over 1,000 five-star reviews. You don't get any better than that. You don't get any better than that mortgage guy, Don. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapata, CMO Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us. We have seen a huge return on our investment. Seeing real numbers has helped us continue to invest. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the data, audiences, and influencers you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take ZQL. ZQL, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non habit forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with ZQuil Nights. Explore our products at ZQuil.com. Uses directed. Keep out of reach of children. You can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every 
every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotfi from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. SafeLight even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. What's up? <sighs> I'm tired of feeling so bloated. That used to be me. Then I got this. Align bloating relief plus food digestion. A probiotic, right? Yeah, it works naturally with your gut to help soothe occasional bloating and gas. Plus, it has vitamin B12 to aid digestion by helping convert food to cellular energy. Two benefits, one capsule. Align bloating relief plus food digestion from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Learn more at alignprobiotics.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Office. Of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Story time with the three best friends you never knew you had. Have to forgive me. I'm absolutely fuming right now. And what happened? I can't talk about it. Oh, <laughs> oh I wish I could. I, uh, I can't talk about it. And it's just like I, during something the break, happened at the house over there. Um, or did you get an email or something? It's something that happened here uh, that I learned here, and I was like, are you kidding me? Oh, uh, I'll tell you at some point in time. Gotcha. But it's it's one of those ones where your blood is uh, boiling, and then you go, like, uh, talking about this is not appropriate, and it doesn't make sense for a couple of reasons. However, I will tell you, friends, today is the day, and... You are supposed to be filing your taxes if you have not done so already. Did you do that already? I uh, did that, yes. yes you, are you an early tax filer? Yeah. I usually, once I get all the documents back, um, I usually just file it and get it over with. How many and documents do you have? A lot. Um, 
because uh, there's, there's just a, I don't want to get into my taxes, but there's a bunch of stuff that I have to do that makes my taxes much more complicated. Um, but I like to get it done. I like to get it out of the way. Uh, so does I, Ashley. I, before Ashley, I was like, wait, I would have done them today probably or yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really? You would have waited until that much over the last minute? I did very many years, yeah. I like it. I find it like a game. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. okay. Here we go. What, you know, how do you, how do you work these numbers to yeah. uh, get where I need to get? Crunch. Got to crunch the numbers once more and see what I can get as a result here. But today's the day. Monday is the deadline to file your federal tax return. If you need more time, you can consider requesting an extension from the IRS. So a lot of people are going to be Googling IRS ex the tax exemption or extension, excuse me, right now. Uh, and just don't forget, you're going to request an extension through IRS free file. You don't have to pay money for any of this stuff because the IRS has a website where you can do it now. Just know that. Be aware of that. That'll give you an additional six months. We have, until a, we have a friend, a uh, mutual friend, that uh, would always file for the extension. I don't know mm -hmm. why, actually. Like, what, what, what's the point? Why, why, uh, what is it about your situation that you're not just doing your taxes? But he would do it all the time. And uh, he's like, well, why don't you just uh, file the extension? File for the extension. I'm like, because when you're doing the work that I did at the time and mm -hmm. you owe money, you can't, when you file for an extension, you could, you get the extension on filing the taxes, but you get penalized on not paying in time. So right. you end up paying more money. Whereas yeah. if you file an extension because the IRS owes you money, well, uh, that's just they procrastination. No yeah. That's why uh, having a LLC mm -hmm. or an S Corp is going to do you best you got in an the long run. Me? Oh, yeah, I've been a, I'm a well, business who's your owner, escort? baby. No, he's he's thinking you're saying escort and you're saying S Corp. That's, oh, no, that's, that's the, what I said. I have an S Corp. <laughs> and she's both. really good at taxes. Uh, that, would be a, that would be a win-win. And holes. Yeah, it's uh, fun for me. That's what we were saying right before you jumped in, Sabrina. Sorry, I, 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 dealing I with like, uh, some business. No, no that's fine. I, I like getting it done and getting it knocked out of the way. But so many people wake up today and they go, what? What? What, what? what do you mean? Oh, I was supposed to do that today? We didn't know. It's been the same day forever. Uh-huh. Yeah, people always seem surprised. But today is the day, friends, so get it done while you can. I, I definitely know somebody who has their tax appointment. Uh, m maybe at their tax appointment right now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. just, and right now is like Super Bowl day for tax people, tax preparers. Oh, yeah. At Jackson Hewitt. There's a line out the door. He's like, come on, let me in. All I want to do is file my taxes. And uh, it's everybody. Thing. Any of those numbers, mm -hmm. they could have it. I will pay yeah. whatever because I cannot do numbers like that. No it's way. annoying. I still don't know why. I don't want to go on a big tangent about this, but I don't know why we can't sort this out in the United States of America so taxes are easy to understand for everybody. Maybe and if they taught sense. us in school instead of uh, math that we'll never, ever use again. Well, they're working on that. Uh, and you know what? We talk about this all the time. Look how popular this is. They're, they just did a, a whole study on this. And they said an adulting crash course would appeal to 81% of Americans. This is the very stuff that we talk about in this show. Where we're like, nobody tells you about this. Nobody informs you. And you just end up in real life and they go, all right, do your taxes. Do you, <laughs> think, that, you think that you would be interested in adult, an adulting crash course to see what they think that is versus what you think it should be? Maybe. I, there's probably information in there even for me. I would be right. sure that I suck at some level of adulting here. Uh, they said as inflation continues to wreak havoc on American finances, the overwhelming majority are saying they'd be willing to take the time to go back and learn the basics. 85% of U.S. high school students said they are interested in learning about financial topics in school. 85% of the kids want to learn about something. Ooh, and we're not what, teaching what, what, them. What? Well, 85% of the kids... 85% of the kids, my God, there's like 40% there's of the kids just suck do you think, right out the gate. Do you think they're still teaching how to balance a checkbook? I don't know. They're I don't probably, think they ever, they didn't teach me that. Yeah, no, that was part of my economics class. Never used they probably, it. They, they, they've updated that, I'm sure. At least I would hope so. If they're having that's stupid. 81% say they'd be willing to take an adulting crash course and noted the most important topic to them was managing their personal finances. That's 39% of people. Very few states require any of this nonsense, but everybody is absolutely behind it, and they want to learn more about this. 
What do they want to learn? Number one, how to become wealthy. Okay, that's good. You should want to learn that. Number two, how to save money. Number three, how to avoid debt. That's an important one. Stocks and bonds, 401k, your retirement, and your taxes as well uh, are things that people would like to learn more about. All right, here we go. Let's see here. We're going to jump face first into it. Oui. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. 866-CALL-MO. Or go to justcallmo.com. If you are injured in an accident, there are a lot of attorneys out there who are willing to take your case. But you need somebody who's going to treat you the right way and settle that case for what it deserves to be settled for. Mo DeWitt is ready to fight for you. 866-CALL-MO or go to justcallmo.com. A high school student is in big trouble. Ooh. Very big trouble. A high school student has reportedly been arrested. Why? After sending a fax pretending to be the principal resigning. Which how is... do they figure <laughs> out how to send a fax? Kind of funny that they were able to do that. According to multiple reports, a 17-year-old student at Charles W. Baker High School was arrested for sending a bogus fax on behalf of the principal that stated the person was resigning. Baldwinsville police shared that the student first created fake school email accounts last month in an attempt to get personal information about another student. School staff reportedly recognized the email accounts were fraudulent and no information was given. However, about a couple of weeks later, the teen allegedly sent a fax pretending to be the principal regarding their reg resignation. The student ended up being caught after police say he added his own cell phone number to the cover sheet of the fax. <sighs> You were so you close to getting away with it. Big dummy. Look what you done. I mean, the, uh, the things where he's trying to get other people's personal information, I get that. I mean, but, but the, the saying the principal resigned, is that not like a senior prank or something? Or, seems or, like it to me. Uh, but, but, I mean, even if, if I would have put my phone number on there, I would hope that you knew I was. it was supposed to be a big joke and not like sure something that I could get arrested for. Well, he finds himself in a whole world of trouble right now. All right, to the octopus story that has a lot of people talking today, and you'll be in on that next because it's coming up next. So the news, Chunky. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law, clausmanlaw.com. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Goldenrod Road at La Vista Boulevard. There's delays due to an accident. The right lane is blocked northbound between New Independence Parkway and Stony Brook West Parkway on State Road 429. And on I-4 this afternoon, there's a bit of delays through the city westbound between Princeton Street and Robinson Street. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Sometimes I struggle to get to sleep. My body stopped for the day, but my mind is still running. So I take z -Quil. Z-Quil, the world's number one sleep aid brand, has a range of non-habit-forming products to fit you and your family's needs. Invest in a great night's sleep for the best you tomorrow. I'm awake and ready to take on anything. Better days start with z -Quil Nights. Explore our products at z .com. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. 
ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Moments like making my kids my famous meatballs mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palbocyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-777-1979. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-777-1979. That's 800-777-1979. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palpocyclip. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. <laughs> Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, Grand. G-R-A-N-D Grand Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm 
and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. Constant quest to stay calm, like that bear in the hammock. Ah, uh, thank God I'm a dummy. I reread the thing and I got it all wrong. Oh. Uh, I got nothing to be mad about. I'm back in a good mood. Oh, good. good to go. Not upset anymore. It was a result of me seeing some new information and then not realizing that old information was in a letter that I got. Oh, um, all, got all, all sorted out, though. All sorted out. Good to go. But it's nice to have um, that, like, little weight. Uh, I, well, now it is. But I hate when... I hate when you open up some kind of mail and you look at it and you're like, oh, like bad news right. just gets dropped on you. Yeah. I, have you have you ever had, I know you guys have both had this. Everybody's had this, but you guys have probably had this for sure. Um, have you ever been like in a good mood and had some like fun stuff going on and then you get news dropped on you so bad that you're like, oh, it just yeah. ruins. Hate that. It's, hate that. It has happened so much, but there was like the most recent one that really, it took me a second where I had to, be like, hey, Brina, mm -hmm. you got to check yourself before you ever wreck yourself like that again. I was right. trying to look for that prize wheel that we had. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not the one in the studio that you have right now, but it was that that bigger one. Yeah, with the um, where you could draw on it and stuff. Needed it for, for something. And, I, I mean, I, I tore up my house. I was like, okay, it's not where I thought it was. And then I start looking in places that I didn't know. And I'm like, well, obviously someone stole it. And then, I mean, it got to a point where... The great I, prize wheel heist was, of 2018. It didn't make any sense. But then I was having these moments where I'm like, I, I, I start to get like, I was angry or teary-eyed. And it was obviously rooted in a bunch of other things going on in my life. Sure. And it was right there. Yeah. It was right there. <laughs> like, if you were watching on the stream right now, I, I could throw a tiny pebble and I would hit it. But it was the fact that I was so overwhelmed with this, like, anger, sadness, almost tears, where I was like, that really threw me. Last so time I remember you I... using that was your birthday. <laughs> it was your birthday, and we spun the wheel, and there was, like, stuff that we had to do on the wheel, oh, I God. think. Oh, God. How did that end up? Did Not great. <laughs> there was a well, lot the of The things. one in your studio we did, and it was, like, bad oh, shots. The tiny one. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got, we got yeah. effed up. Well, look. In, Ten more days, this, baby. In this case, you found it. You located it. I did, but it was definitely that moment where you get one little thing that throws you, and it really it. throws you. And then you always have that friend that goes, oh, that sucks to hear. Well, just don't think about it. Oh, Let's, yeah. You just, you just don't enjoy your day. Don't let it bother you. Yeah. I, I, you don't, don't let, let it get ruin to your the, head. the time. I, and like, yeah, it's ruined my day regardless of what you're going to say right now. And if yeah. you think it's that easy to just not let something do something, then don't you think <laughs> I would have done that? You know you who that asshole? is? That's the person. Everybody's had a friend, and it's glorious. Yeah, everybody's had a friend who has zero anxiety and zero depression. And that's no, the friend that's that always like, catches up with you. Have you tried not being sad about everything, <laughs> you big pussy? Oh, that I never like, even thought about. It. You're like, Duh. Oh, oh God, <laughs> what a glorious life uh, must it be. Seems so simple, though. Uh huh. Just stop being upset about everything, Jesus. Don't let it get to you. That's uh -huh. it. Meanwhile, in California, with wages getting more expensive at chain restaurants, the minimum wage going up there to like 20 bucks an hour or whatever, they're trying to figure out how to deal with this and raising the prices at a lot of places, the inevitable outcome. But McDonald's has a particular plan that they're launching forward with, and they say the way they're going to offset this wage hike in the state of California is by bringing back... The McDonald's bagel sandwich and uh, uh, the okay. breakfast bagel sandwich. I didn't know this left. I didn't know that this had faded Be away. Honest, I didn't know that they had it. I knew they had it, and I knew it sucked because it would be like So how's that going to offset anything? Everyone I ever got was so lubed up in butter and grease. to be like, whoop, 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 you know, trying to hold on to the thing. Mario? 
And they had like a steak one. Do they still have it, Celine? I thought they, they still had this. They brought it back. We have it here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, you know, the idea of a McDonald's bagel, as much as I like a lot of McDonald's um, uh, offerings, especially for breakfast, yeah. the bagel's just not exciting. They don't have cream cheese. No. They don't have, they only have one kind of bagel, just a plain bagel. There's no everything. There's no any of the it's other. It's not good. It's not even a good bagel. That's the sin. Yeah. You go, it's a chewy gonna, bagel. It is. It's an incredibly chewy, slip slidery bagel that is a waste of your time and effort. But great, somehow it's great, going to save great, McDonald's Sean. in California. I what? just got slip sliding away out of my head after after <laughs> Sunday morning coming down yesterday. I ah, just got that damn song out of my head. And right. then you yes. said slip slidery, and I'm like, slip slider bagel. Um, <laughs> how does how is that cost effective? Because I believe is there not more bread on a bagel than there is a muffin? Um, or a biscuit. I don't know. I, not I think a traditionally lot of fluff in a bagel. It's more it's if very, I had to perfect. guess. If you went to a bakery, I would think, yes, bagel is more expensive than muffin, would be my guess. Um, I don't know how much more expensive. I know this. Sea Lane's right about one Nobles. thing. Sea Lane is super right about one thing. McDonald's has absolutely de drilled some of their items that they have on the breakfast menu. Yeah. Like they know what they're doing burritos. The, the, the sausage, mm. egg, and cheese biscuit at McDonald's mm, for mm, breakfast, mm, uh, mm. It, the McMuffin. It's a work of art. They know what they're doing. They've come up with something genius, and it works for them. The McGriddle thing, still don't know what's going on there, but it's a good time. The bagels, no. I don't think you solve any problems with those things. But, but thanks, McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, no. Now I'm going to walk into an awkward McDonald's sure. situation. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Sean loves our breakfast. <laughs> it's going to happen to me. Uh, let's get to this octopus story. Sea uh, Lane said he saw this over the weekend. And uh, here's the, the basics. The one that squirts? An Oklahoma family had no idea that a birthday gift for their nine-year-old son would lead to the birth of 50 octopus babies, oh, what? numerous water tanks that took over half of a bathroom, and thousands of dollars on food supplies and water damage repairs. Sean, as an aquarist, uh, are octopi the animal type that you... Like they grow the, to the size of the tank that they're in, or they're just uh, gonna keep growing. I have a, a a weird take on the octopus thing. Okay, and fact and, versus take. No, no, I to me it's fact based as all of my takes are. Right, but but I think that it is a moral wrong to keep an octopus in a tank. Why? I think that octopus. Is or octopi, depending on depending on which version of HQ trivia you're playing. Um, I think octopuses are insanely smart. They are in insanely self aware. Okay. I think octopuses are one of the smartest animals in the ocean. If you put an octopus in an aquarium, it will spend 24 hours of a 24 hour day trying to get out of that aquarium. And they will do it. They, they can uh, use tools. They can do it. An octopus is an insanely aware animal. The fish I have in my saltwater aquarium. Very in my stupid. House, stupid dumbest fish. Fish. Some of the stupidest they, fish. They, they have call no them idea fish. what's going on. They don't know what's happening. They don't know anything about the world around them. They don't know that they're missing being in the ocean. They, I could poke them with a stick. They don't know. They have nothing in Why terms of poking them with brain stuff? cognition. I'm not, but I could if I wanted to, and they wouldn't know. They are basically just potatoes with fins floating around the tank. But an octopus, oh boy, is an octopus different. Octopuses are geniuses, and they should be free out in the world. Their lifespan is limited anyway. It's a big enough tank. I, I okay, want them now, all to all be free. All that being said, though, like... Octopi, if you're the quote unquote monster to have one in your house, mm-hmm. does it get, does it continue to grow or can you have a tank and it just stays that size? I think like they're pretty you, small. Like you'd have with a koi. Uh, I don't know that that is actually a thing that like the, the animal doesn't grow to be bigger because of the limits of the, the tank that it's in. I, like, You've heard I, that before. I'm not. I didn't just make. No, that no. Up. Okay. I know. I know that every, everybody says that, and that's uh, like a common thing. And I think there might be some element of truth to it, but.
But an octopus, it in general, they don't get super big to begin with, right. unless they're a particular breeds. I think they're, they're like the size of like a a baby to just over baby shark. Yeah, do, 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 do. yeah, and and they are uh, they only live for a short lifespan. They don't live for super long. Um, like you, a did you see that movie? Or... That movie with the my, my octopus's brother. I'm keeper. not ever watching that. Wait, what? Yeah, my, my, octopus my, octopus my, that my octopus keeper or something like that. I know what you're talking about. It's supposed to be fantastic. It's like this uh, documentarian. My slash octopus scuba. teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Became best friends with an octopus. Today is the day that I heard of that. Oh, oh dude, it was really, reviews. really popular when it came mm-hmm. out. It was on Netflix. Never watched it. In 2020. And uh, it was really popular. But I kind of found the guy to be a little bit of a weirdo. But does, well, I mean, of course he is. He's one of these animal Why, people. Does he bang the octopus? He, he, that is, that's weird. he cuddles with that thing. I don't know if he, I don't think he bangs it, but he definitely like, he He's makes friends with the sort octopus. Of, sort of way. And he, he visits the octopus a lot. And then there's times where he just lets that thing just, you know, just and suck around him. Oh, man. I, I don't know. It's all very, very strange Sean to me. Sean just got a little intrigued. I, I would not put an octopus in a tank, but that's what this family did. All right. What about on your groin? No, that sounds like a really okay. bad idea. Uh, I eat octopus, which kind of seems to not square with what I, I just one stated to you. Uh, the tentacles? No, don't, don't, don't. Just uh. keep going. <laughs> not the octa. Just, all right, there we go. Ali, Bravo, Lois. The last horse finally crosses the finish line. <laughs> I see what you're saying. (laughs) Thank you. Cameron Clifford, a (laughs) 36-year-old dentist, said his son Cal had been obsessed with octopuses. Tentacles? Since the age of three. Every birthday, every Christmas, every holiday, he would always say, all I want is an octopus. In October, Clifford made a call to a local aquarium store and acquired a female California two-spot octopus for Cal's ninth birthday. They named her Terrence. Terrence turned out to be larger than expected. <laughs> and Terrence! I, why the, why the, why I inquired about a female two-spot, and we named her Car. Terrence. <laughs> Terrence turned out to be larger than expected and soon began laying eggs. Clifford documented the journey on TikTok, where his videos amassed millions of views from 400,000 followers. And if you check out their TikToks, it is hilarious, the calamities that befell this family. Do not get a pet octopus unless you're ready to lose sleep and your kids' college funds simultaneously, he said. When Clifford told his son they could order an octopus from the aquarium, the nine-year-old immediately burst into tears. His ultimate dream is cloud nine. The greatest thing that could ever possibly happen in one's life had just become a possibility, and he broke down. From there, they began preparing, and they named it Terrence, and they got ready. But the octopus all of a sudden turned into 50 octopi, octopuses, the uh, the tanks started breaking and flooding their house. The things ex- uh, escaped uh, many times over. They would escape on an almost daily basis. They would uh, um, just re- cause them to buy new and more equipment and spend all kinds of money to try to keep these things alive. It is not a good pet, my friend. All right? One of the worst things that ever happened to fish is Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo was a massacre. For fish. Little kids said, oh, I want an emo. I want an emo. And all the clown fish on planet Earth, which even though they're very popular, I'll tell you from a long line of experience, clown fish do not keep that well in aquariums. Oh, they, so you they, got they a die. clown fish. I have had multiple clown fish uh, that died, including one that was a maroon clown fish. It was really big. It was awesome. And they'll stay alive for a while, and then something just happens. They get finicky, and they're so gone. So you were allowed to buy them, but not not anybody else. Is no, this is saying. a clownfish, not not an octopus. I, I'm I'm talking about. I'm on to ranting about something else now. Oh, got it. I, I'm it's saying the worst finding Nemo fish, right? That's the clownfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst thing about fish is finding Nemo because all those little kids watch that and they say, "I want a fish. I want a fish. I want a Nemo. I want a Nemo. I want a Dory." And they buy up those fish like crazy. And parents have no idea how to take care of these things. It's harder than you would imagine. So just get yourself a Greg. You need a Greg. 
You need a Greg to come take care of your fish for you and, 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 and change the water in the aquarium and keep up with everything. Oh, I thought Greg was another Finding Nemo character oh, that no. I didn't know about because I've never seen the movie. I was wondering you why were you were getting about, a little upset over there. You were talking about it's actual Greg. Greg. <laughs> Sweet guy. Uh, no. there, there's a couple, I think, bad actors in this octopus story. First and foremost, it's uh, the the local aquarium that said, mm-hmm. but they said, Technically, you can buy an octopus, but it wouldn't be a good first pet. Mm-hmm. I think that if you're the local aquarium, you should know, and you should be able to tell a customer, here's what happens when you have this kind of octopus, or when you yeah. like, it's going to have babies. Here's what to expect: fifty of them, and yeah. you know, and and you, you need to like be read the riot act of what you're getting into before you do this. Much much like you know, some of these pet stores are really cracking down on uh, selling any sort of rabbit. Come mm-hmm. Easter time, because the you know everybody's like, oh, cute, it's a rabbit. Oh, it's a really, really sucky pet, and we're gonna mm-hmm. get rid of it. We're just gonna open the front door, and good luck, rabbit. But yeah. uh, also, I guess, yeah, this guy's got the TikTok account. He's got his family on, and whatever. And he says uh, he 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 brings it up to his son while he's filming, you know, for TikTok, and he says, oh, you know, I was talking about buying an octopus but they said it was not a great first pet and his son's face lit up and he got all excited yeah. and the whole comment section told him he was gonna be the worst father in the world if he didn't follow through and <laughs> give the kid the octopus so now this guy has been a uh, 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 bad dad shamed into getting the octopus and thousands upon thousands of dollars later the aristocrats well, what a nightmare and in california of all places you can't even buy a ferret there they don't have one they got to handle this the way Russell Lawson, my father, my late father, the way he handles situations like this. True story. Might tell you a little bit about me and and who I am as a person. Was right? it just his birthday? Uh, no. Oh. His birthday is in August, oh. I believe. Dylan was posting about it, but it must be his uh, maternal his death, grandfather. Was, no, it was actually, yes. It was uh, CJ, oh, his uh, maternal grandfather. Um, true story. I once begged my dad to get a hamster. All right, I, I really wanted right. a pet. We I didn't had have one of those. Um, household pets weren't like really a thing. We didn't have um, dogs and cats. We had an outside cat named Garfield that I talked about. We had that for a little while. But my dad didn't want pets because you got to take care of the pets, and he it just wasn't a pet guy. It's not who he was. So we didn't have a lot of that. We had Boomer the Beagle for like five seconds, and then he howled in the backyard because he's a beagle. And then my dad uh, gave him to some friends of ours. Um, and that, that's the experience has been limited. So I begged and I begged and I begged and I begged and I begged. I said, can I get a hamster? And my mom said, let him get a hamster. It's not that big of a deal. And so my dad goes, okay, you can get a hamster. So they got me a little cage and a little hamster. And I loved it. And I named it. I forgot what I but, named the hamster. Okay. I, was about I to wish ask. I remembered. I like that I you was, remember. I the- remember my first hamster's name. What was, oh, yeah, because that was the one that, that uh, had a rough life, I think, right? Didn't you yeah. have a hamster that? Uh... Yeah, Billy. Uh, Billy was thrown into the air and was not yeah. caught. <laughs> he, by he landed a hard. Of mine. <laughs> he landed real hard. Uh, so we got the, the hamster in the cage. My dad said it cannot be in the house. I do not like the way hamster cages okay. smell. <laughs> so it has to be. Hamsters the, are not an outside bed. It was in the patio. So in the patio area with like a screened in patio. On the table, there was the hamster cage, and the hamster was in there. And I went out one day, and I was like, Dad, this is amazing. This is so exciting. This is amazing. And my dad and my mom come out into the patio where the hamster's cage is, and they look. And there are, like, 20 little pink hamsters crawling around all over the place. This hamster was pregnant and had a ton of little little pink hamster babies all around the, <laughs> the cage, right? Here's how Russell Watson handled this situation. You could have sold I, those. I said, oh, that's crazy. We got all these hamsters now. It's a hamster party. And I went to go play with my friends, Chris and Brian, at the end of the street. When I came back, there was one hamster in the cage. That's it. Well, maybe that's, you should have gone to Chris, Chris uh, and whatever's house. My dad. Looked after the pet you begged for. Scooped up all the baby hamsters and... Tossed them into like a, okay, a Publix bag. I don't like that, man, at all. <laughs> that's so talk. messed up. I'm just telling you what that's happened. That's messed up. I didn't say it wasn't messed up. 
I'm saying you bet what for the damn animal, case. and then you go to play with your buddies, and your dad just treated them like droppings. Yes, that he said. What are we supposed to do here? He said the hamster's going to eat them anyways, and he don't let the hamster eat them anyways. Circle of he, life. He didn't want to wait for that. Apparently, he oh, put them in God. a public <laughs> bag. <laughs> so that is uh, in your. You're telling me this is after Garfield that he. All of a sudden got rid of? Um, And the beagle that he all of a sudden got rid of? Garfield just disappeared. He he wasn't, like, disposed of in some way. Disposed of sounds so terrible. Fifth animal that, like, it's just, you had and it disappeared. It just not my fault. I take great care of my animals now. I throw in all the effort that I possibly can. Uh, She does most of the work. Did you uh, have a pet in Chicago? I did not, no. I did not have any animals in, in Chicago. Thank God. Um, but I'm a good pet owner now they these said days. For these octopuses or octopi, Thank you, uh, the, all 50 of them, they have to keep them in separate plastic containers Why? to prevent cannibalization. Oh. <laughs> they just eat oh, each survival other? Survival of the fittest. <laughs> I mean, I think you're, you're going to solve your own problem if they start eating each other. Does that uh-huh. mean that you don't feed them because they're going to end up eating each other? No, they. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how that works, but they they get live shrimp. <sighs> Soon they'll move to a new 180 confusing. gallon tank work, worth upward of ten thousand dollars that oh. the neighbor just purchased. Jesus, that would have uh, been uh, the big hamster money for you had your dad not just. I know. Toss them in the public's bag. I was excited about Hamsterville. I was excited about expanding. Imagine that broke open. Oh, horror yeah. somebody it's bad. would have seen. Yeah, I, I'm just telling you about my life. This is how things go sometimes, I guess. Would you um, eat a fried baby hamster? No, it seems wrong. Oh! Yeah, it seems wrong. It seems I'm like... sure you'd eat it. Like I, honestly, popcorn chicken. eating baby seems wrong. Eating like anything as a child seems wrong. Like but veal? Veal seems kind of wrong. Hmm. It does. It does. I don't know why. There's not really a great philosophical I'm, or... I've or... doubled down on this because I eat baby octopus, so... <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's delicious. It is really good. Yeah, it's uh, adorable, too, but I mean... We have a wedding in September, and the option is only is octopus? veal. No, it's oh, just veal. Oh, really? I mean, it's good. I had to explain it... to somebody. They're like, I've never had veal. I'm like, it's baby cow. And they're like, mm-hmm. what? And I'm like, oh, it's delicious. <laughs> It's too good. You see, they don't have time to grow up, so it's tender and <laughs> Right, yeah, they don't have all those sins in their bodies. It just makes it way more delicious. Oh, that's kind of weird. We, we come back, we'll talk about Sea Lane's pirating story. Oh. We'll, this, I, it's far enough away is from going to be such a letdown, by the way, because <laughs> you've teased it so much. No, no, and no. When I think about it in my head, I'm like, I don't even know if there's a story. Is there a story? No, I think there's going to be some guys, bing, bing, bing. some guys and gals who are listening going, you can do that? That's I've already had thing? one text me. Yeah. Uh, Somebody already yeah. reached out and asked for the URL. Um, all right. So we'll, we'll get into that. We'll tell that story. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Watch out for an accident northbound on John Young Parkway at Old Winter Garden Road. Authorities are still working on that accident on Forest City Road eastbound at Palm Springs Drive. The right lane is blocked there. There's a bit of slowdowns on I-4 eastbound between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. If you see any traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. It's Car Care Month, and Summit Racing has what you need for bumper-to-bumper care. Revive the interior, exterior, underhood, and more. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends May 5th, 2024. All right, folks, my friends at Maxine's on Shine are here to make your week even better with Maxine's Mind Boggler. Big congratulations to last week's winner, Sean. Now the first person to answer... This question correctly wins a $25 gift card to Maxine's on Shine. Here is your question. The ancient Romans boiled vinegar and what else together to make their version of an energy drink? The ancient Romans 
boiled vinegar, and what to make their own version of an energy drink? If you know the answer, email me, Sabrina, at realradio.fm. And the first person to answer correctly wins a $25 gift card. If you don't win today's riddle, don't worry. you got a shot every single week. Plus, you're going to feel like a winner every time you visit Maxine's on Shine. Vote a best downtown Orlando restaurant three years in a row. Diverse, comfortable, and delicious with a splash of sexiness. For more information on location and reservations, visit MaxinesOnShine.com. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotfi from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapeda, Chief Marketing Officer of Hyundai Motor America, talks about audio storytelling. For an auto brand, a lot of people scratch their heads and say, why would you put your brand on a channel that doesn't show the sheet metal? But there's a lot we can talk about about these vehicles that gets people excited about the car. And it's more than just the sheet metal. It really is about lifestyle um, in a lot of ways. For us, it's about storytelling. That's driving a lot of brand awareness, but we can also drive a lot of intent. And that's because we can talk a lot about the features. I think we're learning that we can get a lot more from audio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all from national to local every audience live conversations trusted influencers and the insights of data you need to grow not just a media company iHeartMedia is your access company if you're a marketer go to iHeartResults.com that's iHeartResults.com these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease what's up? I'm tired of feeling so bloated. That used to be me. Then I got this. Aligned bloating relief plus food digestion. A probiotic, right? Yeah, it works naturally with your gut to help soothe occasional bloating and gas. Plus, it has vitamin B12 to aid digestion by helping convert food to cellular energy. Two benefits, one capsule. Aligned bloating relief plus food digestion from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Learn more at AlignedProbiotics.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the Injury Law from McCoffman Lind. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. In the state of Florida, it's actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Coffin Lind. For more information, contact me at whenyoujust.com or dial pound 546 on your cell. Officer Orlando. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. 
Cracked windshield? Just go to safeflight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight repair, SafeLight replace. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Hi, guys. Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, GRAND. G-R-A-N-D Grand Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call Good luck Join in on the chaos We eagerly await your dispatch This Far away from Amy Caulfield's time on the show, so let's do that. But first, a question about etiquette, and I'll toss it over to you, Sabrina, UC Lane, chat, everybody else. All right. What, what's the right and wrong thing to do here? Because I just honestly do not know the answer to this. Whenever we have something that we're getting rid of, we, um, instead of like selling it or putting it on Facebook Marketplace, Generally speaking, I just put it out on the curb, mm-hmm. and uh, then people swing by. Like, it's so f- crazy. We, we uh, just put some bar stools out there, these bar stools that we had for a really long time. But they were – we had never sat in them, basically. They were in, like, brand-new condition. They weren't very comfortable. They were terribly uncomfortable. They were solely purchased for the color of them, and they were, like, awkward to sit in. God-awful. New, new bar stools are so much better. They just came in this weekend. Um, but so we got these bar stools and, uh, we wanted to get rid of the old ones. So we take them, we put them out of the curb fast within 30 minutes, whoop, gone. Somebody's hauled up and, and taking them away. And I always find it funny because we'll put something out there and somebody will discover it when they're in a car that seems too small. And I'll see them in the front yard. Like they're like, well, I'm not going to leave it behind. I'm no not way. leaving it, it here. Won't be back if I come back with a bigger car, uh, huh? They go, I forget. It. I'm going to find this out. And, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. They figure out how to get it in their car, and those folks got it and and hauled ass out of here. And you're you're not putting any sort of, like, curb alert or Facebook or – it wouldn't be Facebook. But uh, you're not putting anything up to tell people to come get it. Just you put it out there, somebody finds it, it's gone. No, we're not putting that up because people got mad uh, when we were doing it that way. Uh, Because you wouldn't take it down in time if somebody grabbed it? Yeah. But I had a a, a nice coffee table that we just weren't using. It was brand new, and it was uh, quite expensive. And I go, let's just put it out there. And we put the coffee table out there, and uh, we posted it on Nextdoor, uh, I think just Nextdoor. And there were people who, after it was gone, went to take it down, and people who are mad. And somebody's like, I was going to get this on my way home from work. God, I was planning on having this. Now I don't. And I go, I'm sorry. I know. Like, I, the same, somebody... same thing happened to me with, um, uh, it was like cat towers, mm-hmm. which I thought were, I don't know, could go right into the dumpster. Sure. There were so many people that one were upset, two offering me money for it. Uh huh. And then three, like, we were going to give this to a shelter. No, we can't. Where is it now? <laughs> I so I found that it, I don't like it. Actually, I would rather not post that, and I'd just rather people come and get it. But we've we're 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 about to put something else out on the road. We're doing some like upgrades and stuff around the house, and that's where my etiquette question comes into play. Is there an implication that the thing that you're putting on the curb is in good working order? 
and I mean to say this, like in terms of if I put something out there and it's not working, are people going to get pissed at me? Because be like, what the hell? I took this thing from the road. Well, and what brought are they, they going to do? Go back to your house and knock on the door and like, excuse uh, me, you'd be surprised. Didn't people work. Really, some of these people might do that. But is there an implication that if it's out there, this is functioning? No, because it's, no. it's, it, I mean, you're putting it in a place where you put trash. Yes. You're putting it in a place where if somebody didn't drive by and go, oh, I think I want that thing, then uh, eventually the person? city would <laughs> come by and, and pick it up because it's trash. Uh huh. I, so, I meant to sound dumb, not deaf. Uh, be- <laughs> I had a beautiful headboard that I just like was not working for my house anymore and i had put uh-huh. a sign that was like free to anybody and then city came by and like threw it in the dumpster and i was like oh did they and i watched and i was like oh man that was for somebody who could actually <laughs> use it it's amazing how fast people find that stuff were the I don't shackles know. still attached no okay. no those <laughs> those are still usable but i didn't know if we Sex were supposed shackles, to by the way i'm not an <laughs> asshole we're we're trying to get rid of the grill that we have because we're working on some other things. We're going to oh, redo the backyard. Yes, you don't smoke anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't stand by it and smoke anymore. So <laughs> I was going to say, oh, what are you going to never cook on? <laughs> no, <laughs> not you don't have a grill. And, and that's the thing; it's not like super old, and it, it would be fine for most people. But I think some of the burners are clogged or something, and I don't know that they all almost work definitely. Perfectly. Yeah. My- Does anything live inside it? That's what. <laughs> that's where it might be fun. I don't know. I, the same thing's going on with my grill, and then I was like, you know what? I, at the very least, like if I put this on the curb, someone can have it. But I know that this propane tank still has some juice in it so i can get maybe a, a better one smaller right it's been so long that the propane tank won't even come off of it so i'm like <laughs> stuck oh, on there right i guess you're staying in the backyard uh somebody says a decon in fact on youtube says do you typically offer a warranty on what you put out on the curb sean lol i'm just wondering if putting it out there implies to people like if i put a dishwasher out there or a washer or a dryer out there do the people who drive by and go oh he's putting this out there for somebody else so we assume that it's functional because I didn't want to be rude and I would rather just pay somebody to haul it away than have somebody get the feelings hurt when they go home and they realize it doesn't work. But then I told Courtney, I was like, I think they could just clean out those little burners and it would probably function perfectly. Or replace anyways. them. Yeah, or put, put something new in there. Uh, okay, when we come back, Oh, we didn't even do the ceiling Pirate story. story. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn dude. it. It's crazy. The longer this goes, it's- the more of a letdown it's going to be. <laughs> it really is. Do you want to just, like, do it real quick? Can you just say it really quick right now? Can you maybe do it in 30 we, seconds? Maybe we do it when we come back. Oh maybe God. maybe we drag it out until tomorrow. <laughs> maybe we drag it out until Friday. You think we could do that? Can we drag no, one tease out? I don't. I don't <laughs> think whole... anyone will care. All right, we'll see. We'll see that Sea Lane's pirate story, possibly, Arr. coming up next. That with the final dispatcher stories that didn't make the cut in today. I learned to wrap everything up for a Monday. It's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. It's like Christmas, but without the presents. Hey, we have trivia. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good afternoon. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and I've got your forecast update here for the Orlando region today. We're topping out at 86. That's about three degrees warmer than normal. Beautiful day, bright sunshine, just some high clouds, but this week will be known for its heat. Yeah, in fact, we warm things up into the mid-90s by this weekend. Now, one good thing is that being springtime, there's no real humidity to worry about, so at least it won't be that really muggy July-style brand of mid-90s. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Batteries Plus. Batteries Plus offers a wide array of battery and lighting solutions, along with key fob programming and expert phone repair, with locally owned stores in your neighborhood as well as commercial accounts to power your business. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of their 700-plus locations today. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at 15.9. The popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, 
Don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm R.C. Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price determines actual discount. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and and sports betting all under one roof hotter than the florida sun feel the luck of the dice watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive dine like a rock star sip cocktails that shimmer then dive into the heart of las vegas right here in tampa bay live craps roulette sports betting is here get in on the action now only at seminole hard rock hotel and casino tampa located off of i4 near i-75 gambling problem call 188 admit it Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I bought a copy from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navage nav A-G-E. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. It's Car Care Month, and Summit Racing has what you need for bumper-to-bumper -bumper care. Revive the interior, exterior, underhood, and more. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions apply. Offer ends May 5th, 2024.
If it's important to you, it's on and probably being mocked by. And today, we're going to wrap everything up for a Monday. And uh, let's see here. Uh, should we get to some dispatches? Should we do the stories that didn't make the cut? Or we'll do the damn pirate story, man? Should we pay off the pirate tees? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So on dispatches, um, <laughs> we don't have enough time. Literally, <laughs> so yeah, problem. Do it. Can you do it in one minute? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. It's it's not much of a story. So we were supposed to have this lady on the show last week, and she canceled the interview at the last minute. What because, kind of we canceled it? Uh, yeah, she said at the last minute. She said, uh, "How much am I getting paid for this?" Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and she was one of the tallest women in the world. And uh, she, there's a couple of news articles about her. She's like seven foot six or something. I don't know. She's huge. This giant woman. And uh, there was all these stories about her and, and her life, and, and she's going viral on social media. And uh, at some point, I don't think we brought it up, but she has an OnlyFans. And, which would have uh, been her like, payment to uh, which, yeah, promote that. Yeah, you, could, you could promote the OnlyFans and then move on with your day. But we, we didn't end up doing any of that. And then Courtney goes, what was this woman's name? She has uh, an OnlyFans. And C Lane fires up some pirate OnlyFans thing. And... Before I know it, I look over and I see photos of this 11 foot tall woman doing all sorts of things. And I and, was like, and they were bad. Yeah, it was not bad. Good. Wait, whore bad? Whore of bad. No. Whore of bad. Like horrible no. and bad combined. Oh, okay. Got like it. bad quality photos, the production, well, no bad choice. She wants of, to get paid. She, uh, all these things. She's definitely in the committee. Yeah. Uh, the itty bitty one. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, well, that's that's I mean, that's, the, that's the least the of the problems. The whole thing is her legs. I thought that, that's the least of the problems with these photographs. All but right, I said, I'm like, is Celine on there? I was like, did you subscribe to the OnlyFans? He goes, no, no, no. There's like a pirate website that for sucks. OnlyFans. That sucks for the people trying to make money on OnlyFans. Come on. And I, I was like, what? You go on here and you could put it. Is it any OnlyFans account? You could put it and you just like no, because, see all this because like lesser known people probably aren't on it. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the website called? Uh, Coomer dot party. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really it? Yeah. And it's not like the whole uh, you know, moon bucks thing where you have to download no, something else no. and put in a secret code and do all that. It's no, just it's just there. a regular old website with a search engine, and you go, oh, this this person's on OnlyFans. This way, I like. I, How do they make their money? Uh, I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Ads or something. Yeah, yeah, probably ads. All right. Well, we did all the dispatches. All the stories made the cut, believe it or not. Kuma party. And now it's time to get a Coomered up party. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. With a K, C. 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 Yeah. C-O-M-E-R. C-O-M-E-R. Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. Let's get out of here. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. Chicken sandwich oh. the bar. So don't get cocky. Yeah. Now it's time for what we call Today I go days and days and weeks without doing anything in that little pause and then the, the day we decide to do it we decide to do it at the same time we're both trying to do full circle stuff from yeah. the beginning chicken on the uh, board and uh oh we're in trouble <laughs> yep. damn it right. well Come here we are it. we've made it to the end folks it's today I learned for a monday april 15th 2024 let's jump in today I learned the guy from this band yeah you never bother to wonder why i think that's right, a Rollins band, and Henry Rollins, he became the lead singer of Black Flag after jumping on stage to sing at a concert, but he had to quit his day job. At the time, he was the manager of a haagen Wow. And they said he sounded so good when he was singing with them on stage, might as well be the lead singer of Black Flag after all. Who was the lead singer before? To, 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 to get replaced by the haagen guy, like, instantly, <laughs> overnight. Sucks. Yeah, that's terrible. Today, I learned Mike Tyson went bankrupt in 2003. Waste my money. Despite having earned $400 million from boxing, examples of reckless, reckless spending included $6.3 million on luxury cars, $580,000 on his 30th birthday party, 
His improved financial situation in 2024 has him receiving about a million dollars a month from his weed company that he started. Not too bad. And today learn this band right here. Oh, no, no. That's right. <laughs> Just played this weekend at Coachella, I guess. They got yeah, back together I for I fell that. asleep and woke up, and it was like half over. Oh. Coachella is supposed to not be as cool anymore. I don't know it's if not, it lost. But Sublime killed it, too, man. Oh, that's right. They were playing, too, with the Bradley's yeah. son, right? Okay. Did a good job. Taylor, no doubt, kind of had a cameo on The Simpsons before they were famous. Eric Stefani left after recording Tragic Kingdom to work on The Simpsons, where he drew the band in the background of one of the shots. Hey, Caramba. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Get the podcast over at thenewsjunkie.com. We will see you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah.